He rated mid song. <laughs> oh, that's great. We represent the Lollipop Guild. The Lollipop Guild. The Lollipop Guild, and in the name of the Lollipop Guild, we wish to welcome you to Machinland. We welcome you to Machinland. Tra la 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 la. From now on, you'll be history. What the hell? Okay, guys, yes. Today, uh, those of you guys who are rating over from Joe, hello. Uh, I'm gonna teach Joe about American football. Howdy, fellas. Yeah, we're gonna teach Joe about American football today. I'm gonna be the coach. And I'm gonna teach Joe all about how American football works. It's a history lesson. History lessons? What? Yeah. What kind of history that I have to know? The history of American football. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what we need? I gotta go get a. Um, I gotta get my my, my grease board. Oh, I'll be right back. Grease board? What yeah. is that? I'll be right back. Huh? Yo, what's up, chat? Don't forget to follow my channel. For those of you who do not know who I am, you don't need to know who I am. Just click my channel, and you're gonna be starting loving me. I don't need to explain about myself, Chad. <laughs> I'm starving. I want some food. How is the sex <laughs> going? I mean, I'm chilling, bro. Aspen is mm, is offering me good hospitality. Yeah. Get some pineapple. I'm on a diet, though. I just realized I gained like 15 pounds after I came to America. I wonder why the ladies don't like Joe. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. That kind of topic is the thing that I have to talk on my stream, man. <laughs> What's up, chat? How long are you visiting for? So I'm not gonna stay in Austin till November 5th. Yeah, man. If the ladies don't love Joe, the boys sure do. I'm pretty sure yes. Joe, ask Aspen to invite you to the gym. He's always talking about me taking me to the gym. I don't know, bro. I'm just a free labor here. <laughs> so then I don't need to pay Airbnb. You know what I mean? Yo, what's up, brothers? So I, I technically kind of learned how does American football goes last night? Chad taught me how to how how does it work though. You going to trick or treat this year? I heard adults are never gonna do trick or treat. It's a it's a kids thing, isn't it? I mean, I'm gonna ask Aspen once again about this, but I don't know why people call football of that game. It's literally handball. <laughs> what the fuck you just said?
<laughs> I mean, only quarterback kicked the balls. Everybody grabbing the ball. This they just ran towards to the end game part. <laughs> oh, kickers. Yeah, kicker. Right, kicker kick it, right. Lots to learn. <laughs> All right, man. Joe thinks the quarterback is a refund. No. Quarterback isn't a leader of the team. Quarterback is the is the guy who control, who decide everything, uh, and manipulated by the coach. Right? What the hell is that? It's the grease board. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we gotta we gotta teach you American football today. Okay. All right. Should I sit here? Here's how we're gonna do this. Does this work? I don't, I don't know, I don't think so. You need help? Let's see. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Uh, okay. A new plan, new plan. Well, no, 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 here's what we're gonna do. We can still put it on the side. Oh. On the ground. I'll do it like this. Okay. Wow. Yeah, rotate. All right, very good. Okay. Can you guys see it? I don't think Chet can see it. It reflects the light. Doesn't matter? Uh. Here's the thing. Where's the eraser? Hold on. Uh, I got a wrist, hold on. Here's the point. We're gonna do this. Agakadis fans TV sub homie. Glad to see Charming Joe. We can do. For Gangnam style. Nice, man. Oh, there's a reflection. The window is leaking. Uh, it's, it's just white. <laughs> <laughs> it's sunny outside. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Alright, whatever. We don't have to use the whiteboard if, if, if the whiteboard's not good. Do I have your ceiling lights? Whoops. You good? <laughs> no, it's it's not about. Is that better? It's literally reflecting all those windows out there, and uh, and that like key light too. Yeah, I think it's just the. Yep, a little better. Yeah, now. Well, what do you feel like here? Then it's better. Honestly, I'm gonna show you on the computer. It's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it's not a big deal. Okay. Bro, we can see it. Can you see it? Chad, do you guys want the whiteboard? Chad, do you guys want the whiteboard? Delete all this stuff that Bonnie wrote for her pros and cons list. Is there any extra eraser? Uh, no. I'll do it, sir. No, no, it's okay. This is a, it takes a special technique. Okay. Yeah, special <laughs> technique.
Yeah, chat, the, uh, that was Bonnie's pros and cons list from, like, two months ago. Holy shoot. Yeah, we never used it again. So, uh, okay, so we, I think we're gonna use some of the spray. You guys remember that stream that Bonnie did? Oh, it's getting better. Yeah. Are you trying to poison me? Yeah. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> okay. So first things first. Now that we have our whiteboard clean, we'll use that in a little bit. Nice. Good. Can so, you... A little closer? We can't can actually get it closer. Like, maybe like here. Perfect. Good. Okay, that's good. Okay, so first things first. Let's learn American football. Wee. Okay, American football time. Okay, football. Yes, yes, yes. So here's the plan. L tell me first. What do you know so what do you know about football so far? Um like, what, football. Do you already, what do you already know about football? Wait, is the stream is the stream lagging? It's doing that thing again that it was doing the other day. So you're doing random stutters. Is the camera I got just lagged? Chat? Oh, see there it is. I need a new computer, I think, altogether. Because it's not like, literally nothing is, is like... Look at this one. What is this? Uh, I mean, my memory, everything is fine. It's literally just... Uh, power. Power, I mean... Yeah, everything is fine. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> I'm gonna try and close out of like Google Chrome or something. Sure. Honestly, it's probably Google Chrome memory leak. Uh, if it's lagging a little bit, it is what it is. Okay, I don't know. It is what it is, chat. Nice armpit. This is Brenda's PC? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so here is what we're going to do. What do you know right now about American football? Explain, explain American football to me, Joe. American football is a sport okay. that use hand mostly. Mm -hmm. So it's... I don't know why it calls football. Because you play it on foot. No. They grab the ball. No, but you play it while you're on your feet. That's actually every sport is. Instead of on horse. Instead of on horse? Yeah. Okay. But basketball doesn't play on the horse. Yeah, but in basketball, the ball goes in the basket. Exactly. But football is use your hands to get to the end, end game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it football? But you use your feet to move, <laughs> move the ball. So, so the reason the, the reason the reason why it's called football is uh, so so originally soccer is uh, association football. Okay. So the phrase soccer comes from a sock like association soccer. Ah. Oh. Yeah, and that's something that the the British made up years ago. So the British used to call association football, you know, soccer. Okay. And then what happened is it got adapted to America. 
when they came up with the name for football originally, it's there was a, there was um, association football, which is soccer, uh-huh. and then there's gridiron football. Lucky. Gridiron football. Gridiron football. Yeah, which is football. American football. Oh. But they called it the reason why they called it football originally is because, you know, games were played on horses hundreds of years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, like horseback games. And then they so they called it football because you didn't have a horse. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. So was it called horse bowl? Yeah, it was. Really? Yeah, there was a game of football originally that you rode on horses. But the problem was when they tackled each other, there was a lot of dead horses. So oh, was, shit, yeah, yeah. it was really bad. Yeah. Oh. So... <laughs> Interesting. I've learned something today. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's what I was trying to say. American football is rugby with pads and helmet. Actually, no, it's not. It's very different. I've played both. So, what about the lockby? The lockby? Rugby. Oh, lock rugby. Beat. Yeah. They said, oh, I think you said lockby. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, rugby is. <sighs> rugby is its own <laughs> sports altogether. Because it's like you have a much bigger ball. It's like It's like a football, but it's. Like wider in the middle, so it's like a football, but they stretch it. A little oh, they're bit. they're d- using different balls. Yeah, it's a little. Oh. Bit it's like it's a little bit more like, it's a little bit fatter, so it's like a little bit bigger ball, and um, what they do is they start out and they're like in a you have like a scrum, right? So you get everybody locked up and everybody's like pushing against each other, and then they take the ball and they want to throw it, and the idea is is they're trying to get the ball to the outside and they get, give the ball to somebody fast and run it down the field. Oh, rugby is kind of like. It's somewhat in between soccer and American football. I see. Yeah, it's almost like a watermelon, the ball shape. Uh, okay. Yeah, rugby is named after a town in England. Is that true? I don't know. Rugby is more physical. It is not. I've played both. You play both? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're just different. There's not like one's more physical than the other. Um, the impacts in American football are actually bigger than rugby. Really? The, and the reason for that is like the, the impact is bigger because pads don't, don't stop force. Which is why a lot of people have like the CTE and the, the, the injuries and stuff oh, like that. Oh, shit. The long-term injuries that people are concerned about with football is the helmets are too good. The pads are too good. So when everything's too good is they can go and they can run into somebody and it doesn't hurt that much. Uh, they get hurts. So they're getting more intense. And like... Yeah, but the, 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 your bones and your, your tendons and everything still takes that impact. But it doesn't have that like, like I, I guess, sort of like acute like damage of like hitting your like like me punching myself in the chest right here is like it's still you know i feel it because i feel it here but if i have the pads on i hit it like that force is still exerted into me but it's not it doesn't hurt as much i get it Hmm. yeah pads prevent like fractures but not concussions yeah like you might not break a bone but it's not going to stop your brain from shaking oh yeah that's a good way of putting it so interesting but yeah they're um yeah, rugby and football are two different intensities, but neither is rough than the other. Yeah, they're just different. Okay. Yeah, they're just different. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I know the football... Wait, I forgot everything that I've learned last night. Okay, well, let's start here. <laughs> let's start here. Let, how about we watch some football, and I want to start out with you explaining to me what you see, what's happening, okay? Okay. Uh, let's watch the Cowboys versus the who they play yesterday, the Lions. Is that okay to show the NFL? Well, you can watch a YouTube video, like a YouTube video recap. You can you can do that. Yeah, you're gonna be right. Cowboys Lions is not a real football game. That is a Fair assessment, actually. That was, uh, lines were terrible yesterday. <laughs> okay. So this is, uh, Cowboys, which is my favorite team. Okay. Against the Lions, who they played yesterday. This is the game that we watched a little bit of yesterday. In the oh. Okay. 6.5 yards per play, which is second worst in NFL history. Here's that in the pocket. He slammed down. Okay, so tell me, tell me what you see whenever you're watching this. Like, fourth sack of the season you just find very quickly that when he's out there things just happen quicker more explosive so, uh, also without dj chart on ir 
Second down. Okay. That's actually right. That's the second down. <laughs> In this offense, I mean, Sewell's a road breaker. He's right right. 77. He's outstanding as well. Here's Gump. Okay. Uh, chat, can you hear us good? Yeah. Oh, wait. Did he made it? Yeah. First down. Okay. Oh, that's a first down. Yeah. So why was that a first down? Because that blue guy went to yellow line. He knows a little <laughs> bit. Good. Okay. Okay. I'm starting out with no direction just so chat gets an idea of, of how much you know about football. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're starting out with no direction, and then I'm going to ask you some specific things, and then I'm going to go into the basics of how American football Okay, works. okay. Oh, was sacks seven. Dallas number one at sacks, 24. Here's the quick toss. Raymond, who's having a busy first quarter. Okay. Had the uh, to second down. Drive with the True. So why was it second down? Because he went to white line. Yeah, so he went out of bounds. <laughs> he went out of bounds, and he didn't cross the line. That's yeah. true. That's true. Very good. True, true, true. Okay. So reception here that goes for eight. Now we're going to ask you something more specific. Okay. Sandlu is all you need to know about football. Waterboy by Adam Sandler. True. Okay. So let's start off with. I'm going to go slow. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's slow it down a little bit so it's easier to understand. Okay. So can you tell me what's happening? Like like when you watch this in slow motion, tell me what you see. Somebody throw the balls underneath the legs, uh -huh. and he grab it, and he toast to somebody else, and the white guy was trying to kill him. <laughs> he wasn't trying to kill him. <laughs> he, okay, so close. <laughs> what? Is it... I was telling the truth, but... No, so what he's doing is he's going to bat the ball away. Bat the ball? Yeah, he's trying to, like, like hit the ball away. What do you mean by like hit deflection. the ball? Like he's trying to deflect the ball. The, the who? White guy? Yeah, yeah the, the white team. They're trying the white to, team. Because they want to knock the ball away because they're on defense. Oh. Ah, yeah. ah, okay. Right. So what if it? What if they touch the ball? Even, like, you grab it like this, but, like, doop, and well, then... <laughs> you, can, you can knock the ball out. Uh, that the ball has to be dropped to the ground, or it's well, okay, well, just touch is okay. No, no, no. So like the ball has to touch the ground. Ah. So like. So not like if, if, if so if you like go holding the ball like that. If you're I was running like, with the ball, you're holding it, it and you, knock, you have to knock it out. Ah. You, you either tackle them to the ground, and then it's okay. That's the end of the down. That's the end of the play. Ah. If you tackle them, or you you hit it, and it, if it knocks out and it hits the ground while you're running, now it's a fumble. Fumble. Yeah, a fumble. Huh? And a fumble is live ball, bumble? and the, you can pick it up. I haven't matched any bumble. No, no, not bumble. Fumble. <laughs> yeah, fumble, not bumble. Which, fumble. to be honest, fumble and bumble are it happens a lot whenever you're on bumble. Okay. But uh, when, with whenever you have the ball, if you drop it, it's a fumble. Oh. Now, if you're throwing the ball uh -huh. and it hits the ground, it's not a fumble. It's oh. just an incomplete pass. Okay. Then it keep, continues the game. Uh, so yeah. what if so if it's fumble, it's continuing until until somebody grabs until it. Until somebody it's grabs it. Ah, uh, so the so in in when blue team got an attack and he threw the ball, but the ball goes to the ground. Yeah. And if the white guy, white team guy, grabbed the ball. So so no no because right here, look, he's throwing it. This is a pass. Uh huh. And then he knocks it down. This is incomplete. Okay. It's incomplete pass. It's not a fumble. Oh. But a fumble would be if he catches it and then he's running and then it gets knocked out. Oh, yeah. so what do you what do you mean by incomplete then? They they just lost the chance. Uh, yeah. So then it's the next down. See, it was third down and now it's fourth down. Ah, uh, okay. And then he says no, no, no. So yeah. Ah, uh, okay. He's a field goal. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask you some more specific things, and then we are going to completely explain exactly like how football works. All right, sounds good, man. Okay. So he, does he crack the ball? Uh, he cracked it. We didn't crack it. It's not an egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I thought like he was he was grabbing something. So tell me, tell me what you see this guy do. This um, guy right do you know what this twerking? Is? No, he's not twerking. <laughs> do you know what position this is? 
twerking. No, not the. You know what? What on the field? Like, is is he quarterback? Is he running back? Oh, he's a quarterback. So actually, this is kind of a bad. I heard that he has a. He's he's been manipulated by coach all the time. Yes. He's like a. Because the coach tells the tells the team what to do. Yeah, they have a like. Bluetooth speaker yeah, yeah, inside they, of they, Helmet. Yeah, they have radio. That's fucking sick, man. Yeah, they have radio. So it's literally Helmet. just playing Maiden that you have played last night, yeah. but in real life. So, like, with two people, basically, you have two people on the field that have uh, radio. Two people, not yeah. only quarterback. Yeah. So, like, like uh, I think, is it two defenders and then the quarterback? <laughs> It's oh, it's just the linebacker. Okay, so so yeah, the linebacker on defense and then the quarterback on offense. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Or not? It's not necessarily the middle. But linebacker, linebacker like is kind of same as quarterback, right? Kind of. It could be a safety. It could. It's it's one defensive captain basically, uh. like one defensive player. Usually, you might have it be like your middle linebacker or safety or whatever. But that's okay. That's very specific. So your quarterback is actually here because the quarterback is lined up under center. Oh. So there's different ways that a quarterback lines up. One is under center, where he puts his hand right behind the center. Uh-huh. They call it under center, and then the center gives him the ball. Oh. There's also a shotgun, which you see a lot more shotgun now than you did like you know 30, 40 years ago. But shotgun is when he takes it, he throws it back, okay. and then the quarterback catches it, and this is the running back. Okay. Oh, that's the running back. Yeah. Huh? So what he so does right here is... That's a quarterback. Number this, four? Number four is the quarterback. Ah. So he gets the ball, he takes the snap, and he goes back here. And what they're doing is they're running a play where they run to the left, and he's handing the ball to the running back. Oh, he's faking it. Just kidding. It's a fake. Ah. So what this is, is this is called a uh, play action. And a play action is when you, fake and you throw the ball. Yeah, pretty oh. sick. Specifically, what's happening here is if we're getting specific, this is what you call a bootleg. Bootleg? Yeah, bootleg is whenever you 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 go hard one way and then you roll out the other way. Ah. It's a bootleg is a play action that you roll out. Okay. So this is I wouldn't so call this a naked bootleg. They, so naked when, bootleg? So a bootleg, a naked bootleg is wait, if you wait, have... Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about the strategy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's it's getting... <laughs> can you explain the entire thing first and then strategy? Yeah, 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 You're yeah, making yeah. me confused. I'm getting too, I'm getting too into it. I'm getting wait, too into boot it. camp? What? You know what? Let's go ahead and roll it back. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to run it back, chat. We're going to okay. run it back. Okay. Let's get back to the basics where we're getting all this crazy stuff. Okay. 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 So that guy catched the ball above the yellow line, which is good play, right? Uh, yeah, that was a good play okay. for the for the offense. Okay, so we're gonna start with the basics. Okay. Football has eleven people on each team, twenty-two players on the field. All right. So you have your. Can you hear me? Okay. So that you have your center. Okay. That's the guy that starts... Oh, can you even see that, chat? If they can't see it, then... Uh, oh, they can. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So so you have your center right here. <laughs> I'm gonna turn down the uh the stop. Okay. Nice. Okay. So this is the guy who starts with a football. Okay. The center, the lineman. And then you have a guard, you have a tackle, you have a guard. And you have a tackle. This is your lineman. This is your five lineman. Okay. Oh, oh, the people out there, the crowded in in the middle. Yeah, in the middle. Okay. So what you're seeing here, what you're seeing here, is you're seeing the actually. Let's, let's get a better look here. Let's see if we can get a better, better image of it.
Um, it's like a chess. They have their it, own it, roles? It's legit. It's like chess. Yeah. It's super... American football is like super complicated. So... Yeah, he, I, I probably shouldn't have done this. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have made that wet, but it's okay. Right, let's start here. Okay, so what you're seeing is this is your center, guard, tackle. Guard, tackle, and in this situation, they have two tight ends. Hmm? Yeah. Two well, tight? Two tight ends. Tight ends? Yeah, but we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it simple. So that's your center, center guard, guard, tackle. tackle. Guard, guard, tackle. tackle. Okay. And then you have your quarterback, right? Here. Your quarterback here. is going to be here. And, uh, or he could be here. He can be, there's, there's a bunch of different formations, but we're going to kind of keep it pretty simple here. Okay. And um, you have your quarterback here. You Keep have it. your halfback or your running back, right? They running back. Halfback. halfback. Yeah. So you have your halfback here. And then you have your, <laughs> you have a receiver out here. Who received the ball? Yeah, you have a receiver out here. You have a tight end here. We're gonna call him a Y. Tight end? Yeah. What is tight end? Uh, a tight end? So a tight end is like in between a lineman and a receiver. Oh, so he can like a midfielder? Kind of, uh. but they're, they're usually very big. They're, they're very big, but they're athletic. Like they might be like 6'4", 6'5", 6'6". It's kind of like to line up against the tight end and explode upon impact. Got to blow up the tight end to penetrate the line. Oh. Yeah, because these guys are going to be over 300, all of them. Oh, they also measure the pounds? Yeah. For each roll? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, so these guys are over 300 pounds usually. And then uh, and then you have a slot receiver. So this is this is a very simple, simple offensive setup. Okay? I'm gonna keep it very simple because normally football gets very complex and you have these 11 guys and the only rule is that you need to have seven people on the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is this guy's off the line and this guy's off the line. Oh, okay. <laughs> so one, two, and then five. Ah. So that's the only rule. You have that and then you can line it up however, right? Okay. It's not the only rule, but that's the main main. Like, yeah, very simple. Yeah, very simple. So. This is your offense. Now on defense, you have your defensive end. You have a defensive end here, so you have a right end and a left end. You have a nose guard, and you have a tackle. Why do you have nose guard? So what a nose guard is, is a, uh, a nose guard is, well really there's two defensive tackles, is what they call them. But the nose guard like, is like usually- Like nose, nose guard? Yeah, they call him a nose because he's <laughs> usually like lined up on the inside. So oh. it's like on the inside. So they call him a nose guard. So this guy's like your big beef. Like these two guys are the beef of the defense. Like or they they're gonna be like that that position then. This guy would be closer <laughs> to a, this guy would be closer to an end or a linebacker. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then you have linebacker, linebacker, linebacker. Okay. So now you have three linebackers, four linemen. So that's seven. Ah, uh, so this is a defense position and yeah. this is attack position. Yeah, and uh, uh, they call this the front seven of the defense. They, uh, whenever they talk about front seven, the seven people they're talking about there. the uh, linemen and the linebackers. Uh, defensive linemen and the linebackers. And then after that you have your safeties and your corners. So this is one cornerback. Okay. And this is one cornerback. These guys line up against the receivers. I see. And then you have the safeties, right? So this might be a... Uh, Here's a safety here and a safety here. Safety? Hmm. So what a safety is, is a safety is your last line of defense. I see. Okay? The so safety is the last line of defense, and a safety is kind of like a hybrid between a cornerback and a linebacker. They're basically cornerbacks that know how to tackle. They're a little oh. bit bigger a lot of times. Wait, what? Oh. A little bit bigger cornerbacks that can tackle people. and Because what happens is they're, they're far back, so if anything makes it to the end, that, that has to be the guy who has to be able to make the tackle. I see. You know? So, explain gaps. I think gaps are probably too confusing right now. Gaps? So, yeah. But I'll get to that. GAP? GAP. <laughs> <laughs> no gap, like the close one. Okay. So, this is, this is an offense and then this is a defense, right? 
Okay. So the goal, the basics of how the game works. We're going to start at the very bottom. You know the positions. How the game works is there's uh, several ways to score points. Score points. Yeah, so you score points with a touchdown on offense, offensive touchdown. Touchdown, six score. Touchdown is six. Then there's defensive touchdown. A defensive touchdown is if you throw interception and then they run it back for a touchdown. That's six points. There's a safety, which is two points. A safety is if you're in the end zone, if you're backed up on your own end zone and then they tackle you, then you give up two points on offense and the defense gets two points. And then there's, after you score a touchdown, there's extra point. You kick a field goal, that's one point, or you try and score again and that's two points from like the two yard line. Okay. And then there's, uh, and then there's a field goal itself. So if you kick a field goal in, in like normal play, then it's three points. Okay. So those are all the ways to score. Okay. So I, really, I, I don't understand the safety one. So the safety is, let's say you're, you you you're on the field. Wait, so defense 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 team also can get a score while yeah. playing game. Oh. But if the offense gets pushed back so far that they're at the, their own end of the field. Ah, but, but it's not going to be happen that much, right? Uh, yeah, it doesn't happen that much. Uh, so like, let's say you're like on the two yard line coming out, and then you get sacked, you get tackled, the quarterback gets tackled, then they give up two points. Okay. Like the best way for me to show you this is like, um, let's watch this one. Oh wow, that's crazy. This is the first suggested thing was a safety from the player I looked up. Okay, Jimmy <laughs> Garoppolo safety is the first result. Okay. <laughs> so um uh, so go to highlight heaven, yeah. Uh, another safety. Okay, here's a safety. Okay. So this is this is what a safety is. So you see how they're they're backed all the way up against their own field, okay. their own end of the field, their own. This is called the end zone. Their own end zone. Wait, they are. Wait, which team is defending right now? Uh, the white team is defending, and the red team is on offense. Oh, okay. So the, the he takes the ball and he snaps it to the quarterback. This is Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy Garoppolo. So he goes in and he gets tackled in the end zone. So then it's two points for Kansas City. Ah. Wait, they are the the white team was the defending team. Yes. And they are went to the end game. Of yeah, the, red team. They pushed them back so much. They pushed Holy them back shoot. so much that they were on their own side of the field. So which means they keep tackle them. Before go to 10 yards. Basically, yeah. So. They were getting their ass beat. Yeah. They were getting, <laughs> yeah. It was like, they're yeah. fucking worse then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. But also, there's a lot of reasons why that can happen. Like, you can get a punt, and the punt is on the two yard line. Like punt? It's, yeah, yeah. When they get the ball, like maybe they get the ball on the two yard line or something. But we can get to that later. Okay. So. Okay. So. So I turn the NFL Films music back on. Okay. So, where were we? Okay, that's the scoring. <laughs> the next is the downs. You understand downs. Yeah. So there's four, four downs. downs. Yeah. Yeah. So like four, baseball. Kind of like baseball. Four, four ball, four, four foul, four strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... You have four downs, and usually it's first down, second down, third down. Okay? Yeah. And then on fourth down, you usually make a decision on... To just I, kick it out, to get three kick points. Do I want to kick it, get three points, yeah. Or like, like you did on you last it, night, yeah. punt it or grab it, try to go to end. Right. And, yeah. So that's basically the goal. That's where it starts. It starts with you're trying to get a first down enough times to basically give you enough chances to go score. Mm. That's kind of like the core of what it is. I see. I, I kind of understand that. And the first down is every 10 yards. Every 10 yards. Yeah. So you have a four chance that you have to make more move than 10 yards, right? Yeah. 
but it's a total of 10 yards within that time. So it can be like second and five. You get five yards on first down, then you have five yards to go. Oh. And then if you get it... In second down, you have five yards left, then you can just keep going. Yeah, and then it back. can be third and three, right? Third down and three yards to go. Uh -huh. And then you get three yards, boom, it's first down. And then wherever, you, wherever the ball stops, after you get a first down, wherever the ball stops is where... Um, Wherever the ball stops is where your your thing is. Oh. Uh, where where the first down starts. So why don't, so, we, so why don't people ten. just throw it to the above the ten yards? They do. Boop, boop, boop. But the thing is, it's hard because they're so good. The the defense is so good. Oh. Yeah. Because they're trying to collect their balls, right? Uh huh. And they try to catch the ball and like boom. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So running is what a, a lot wild more... sport. Yeah. So <laughs> running running is a lot more reliable, but it's not as big a play as running usually. Uh, yeah, but you're understanding. You're 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 trying to understand like how, how it all goes. So it is wild, but fun at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like you said, it's like chess. Like it's very like like you say it's like chess. Now you don't even know. Like I'm gonna start talking plays. Okay. Okay. And I think actually what? we now. Yeah. No. Well, okay. So what, <laughs> what question? Tell me. Actually, let's start here. What questions do you have? Uh. Like what do you what do you not understand? When you see football, I haven't seen football. I just learned yesterday from chat. Yeah. So what do you not understand? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here, I'm gonna show you. Here's what we're gonna do. Are we gonna play that game? Play Madden? Yeah. And we can. I was gonna show you from like actual game footage. Oh yeah, sure, sure. But Madden is actually kind of easier to learn, to be honest. I watched your VOD last night to learn football. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, so. Six point five yards per play, which is second worst in NFL history. Okay. Hercule win loss record is too bad to be with uh... anything. By Hutchinson and the rookie has his fourth sack of the season. So I'll explain. You just find very quick. So this is a play where the Cowboys are on defense. Cowboys are on defense. Yeah, the white team is the Cowboys, the blue team is the Lions. Okay. Lions and Cowboys. Okay, so how these guys are lined up, remember what I was talking about? Is you have now this is a little bit of a they have like a little bit of a weird it, it's a seven point. It's seven in the front, right? Yeah, so you have your front seven is, is here, basically. Uh -huh. You have one, two, three, four, one, two, two three. Two, three. Those yeah. are the, the, the bad. Blue. But this is, this is kind of a weird front because technically you have, this is a linebacker, this is a linebacker, linebacker. You have three oh. down. It's like a weird, this is like some weird like nickel. This is like kind of complex. But yeah, that's basically, this is your front seven. Okay. And then you have your corner, corner, or sorry, corner, safety, corner. Where's your other safety? One, two, three. Out there's of probably, camera. There's probably a guy out Just of camera. Yeah. Quicker, more explosive. Second and 11. Also without DJ Chark. Went on IR. So what happens here is they're doing a play action, right? They're doing the Yeah, yeah. So they bring a guy in motion before the snap. You're allowed to move a guy. You can't move forward, but you can move side by side. Quicker, more explosive. Second. Right. Uh-huh. He moves side by side and before the snap so they can get some leverage and they use him. Watch him. They use him to come here and they don't block this out there. Things just happen quicker, more explosive. And they use him to come in and block to help here. Play action. They fake the pass and then they all go and they cover their respective parts of the field. So everybody on the defense has a job. Like they're going, you cover this side, you cover this side, you cover this side. And then they run their play where they're blocking here, this guy's blocking. They fake it to the running back, and then the running back it runs out here to get open for a pass. Oh! And when he's open, so he's he's open, so he's trying the ball to him. So he's gonna throw the ball to him, and, and he's trying to yards. run to the ten yards. Right, and then he gets ten yards. Oh! So it's it's first down. Yeah. Sewell's a road grader, but and the, and the the line did line is start from that first down area. Yeah. Uh. TJ Hawkinson with the reception at another Lions first down. Lowest sacks, seven. Dallas number one at sacks, 24. Here's the quick toss. Raymond. So what you're seeing here 
is they're doing the same thing where they take the ball and then they're they all have like a role. Okay. They all have something they're supposed to do. Like it's like chess, right? Yeah. Where you're supposed to cover this guy. There's two types of defensive coverages. Also, like other people cannot cover other people. They can, but mm -hmm. it's whatever the whatever the coach says. Oh. So like if a coach comes out and says, "Hey, we're gonna run," um, I don't. Know, I mean, hey, we're gonna run uh, sky cover or whatever they call it, right? Because they have zone coverage. Zone coverage is where you cover big areas of the field. Okay. Then you have man coverage where it's like, I cover this guy. More man cover. Oh. Yeah, man coverage is easier. Zone to cover is like just you can decide who to cover it, but man cover is like, yeah. Coach is telling. You well, well, kind of other way around. Because zone coverage, honestly, the best way to show him is probably Madden, isn't it? Is it, <laughs> is it Madden the best way to show him? Madden is actually probably the best way to show you. Here, let's load it up. Yeah, man. So, uh... Oh, he calls yeah, Madden. Yeah, 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 yeah. Madden, ah. Okay, so. Let's go! Let's go! Where's it loading? Dude, typical Xbox. Close game. Okay. I actually still needed this. Dude, honestly, I think this is good. I might make this into a YouTube video to help explain uh, what football is for people that don't understand. You should. It's the, they're, they're vacuuming downstairs. Who's vacuuming though? Oh, I didn't know she was here. Madden is right. Madden. Yeah, Madden is the name of like a very like famous like legendary coach. And they named oh really? The name after him, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go play now. Or learn to play as a practice mode. Team practice. Okay. I'm gonna close the door because yeah, actually, I'll, can I'll you do it? Yeah. I'm like, I'm boxed in here. Okay, we're gonna start with offense. Chat, we're gonna start with offense only. What, what team? What team do we do to show them? Hey, just push it all the way. We're gonna pick a team. Uh, Cowboys. You wanna be the Cowboys? Raiders. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna show you the offense first. Okay. Okay. <sighs> America's team. People people hate the Cowboys. Why? Because they're because they have too many fans. They're the most popular <laughs> team in the NFL. Oh really? Good. So, uh, okay, so I'm going to, this is starting to get specific here. Okay. okay. But you can see they have all these different formations. Oh, okay. I form. Single back, I form, strong, strong weak, weak, full, full house, house, pistol, gun. gun. This is the shotgun I was talking about. Goal line, Hail Mary, special teams. Okay. Okay. So what I was showing you on the board here was, the was it was gun doubles. 
Um, this is basically what I was showing you. Was doubles. Ah. Okay, quarterback. Yeah. I was showing you doubles offset week, except the thing is he was on the line, he's off the line. So this is what I was showing you before. Okay. Right, where you have your running back here, your tight end here, slot receiver, outside receiver, outside receiver, quarterback, and then your five line. Right? Yeah. So all these different plays, yeah, I know. <laughs> so all these different plays mean different things, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna move the camera up here so they can, they can see everything. Let me go closer, let me, let me, let me Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we're done with the board for now. So, we're going to start with something basic, okay? Let's start with something basic, which is, uh, well, we're in HB, like halfback draw, okay? Okay. So, what a draw play is, is when you take the ball and you hold it for a second, like you're going to pass it, and then you're going to hand the ball to him. So the idea here is, is that just everybody, this is very basic. Everybody else is blocking. Okay, just pretend it's inside zone. Everybody's blocking, and then you hand him the ball, and then he just runs. Super easy, right? Wow. So boom, quarterback gets it, hands him the ball, and then he runs. And he scores touchdown. There's no defense. I'm just okay. showing offense, so it's easy to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, kill, kill! Kill, kill! All right, so next play. Show uh, him how to pitch the ball back when you're about to get tackled and turn it over. I, I, I've never done that, Karen. I don't know what you're talking so about. So they decide the strategy first and then yeah. play the players. So, Those yeah, basically, like, the players. offense comes out and they give a formation. They say, hey, I'm going to do this. Right, coach says, okay, I want to run uh, gun, Y trips, weak, stick. Right, that's the play. Ah. So then they run this play right here. They run this stick. So, so you're basically doing coach. Right. So now I know is that whenever we run stick, you have this receiver doing a slant. Right, he's doing that. You have, you have this guy going out here. You have this guy going out here. You have this guy going out here, and you have this guy going deep. Okay. Okay? So whenever I run this play... Boom. And then you go score a touchdown. You got ice cream cone. Uh, you go solve it. Okay? Oh. So right here, I might I might read the defense and then I see like the outside guy, he might be manned up on him one on one. Uh -huh. He might be man and he beats his man, right? He beats the man, boom. I'm gonna throw it deep. Touchdown. Oh. Uh. Yeah. How many times that you can toss the balls each other? So you can throw the ball forward one time. Only and it, one time. And it has to be behind what you call the line of scrimmage, which is this blue line. Ah, uh, like the starting point, right? Yeah, the starting point is called the line of scrimmage. Uh, you cannot throw, like, when, when the ball just crossed that line, then you cannot throw it to it, right? Right. Ah. Uh. So if I go and I'm trying to, let's say... Let's say defense is coming at me. None of my guys are open. Oh no! Oh no! What do I do? 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 Run! I'm gonna run. Okay. And now that I run, see, I can't throw it anymore because I passed the line of scrimmage. Ah. This is funny. You're twerking. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Come on. Can I run into? See, I can't even run back. You see, I run uh, back. I can't even run back and throw it. American football is the best team sport. I'm not even American. I discovered as a grown ass man. Nice. Are we in the club? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I'm, I'm having too much fun just being stupid. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next play. So, uh, th this is out of the gun, right? But there's all kinds of different stuff. Like, there's pistol. So, what pistol is, is, so, so you know how there's, like, single back? Yeah. Where the quarterback is under the center with one running back, single back? Oh, okay. The four is the quarterback, so. Four is the quarterback. Now, 
if if I do pistol, pistol is like halfway shotgun, halfway single back. Uh. Right. So let's let's go single back first. Actually, let's make this easier to understand. So you have single back and it's a dive. Single back, three tight ends, easy. Right. Take the ball, hand it off, go score touchdown. So they they are crowded in the middle a lot so that they can every people can cover others from defensing yeah, yeah. so the one guy can go toward to the street, right? Well it depends. It depends. Um it depends on where the defense is, is like which way they block to. Well, actually, okay. really, they block wherever they block. Okay. But, yeah. So this is like another pass play where everybody goes and they run a route, and then I throw it to whoever's open, and whatever, right? Mm. So it's like a what play is, action. What is that red target? So the reason why it's red is because... It's just like Madden is telling you this play is designed to look at this receiver. Oh, no, no. I mean that, that, the, the guy on the right side. Oh, that's the first down. Oh. Yeah, that target is the first down marker. Yeah. So this is, remember how I showed you that bootleg earlier? Yeah. Like, it's the same one, bootleg. And you come here, and then you throw it on the run, boom. Mm. And you can even do this. And you can do this. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, this is, this is, uh... You can you can throw the ball backwards as many times as you want. Um. Yeah, but you just can't throw it forwards. <laughs> Why are you throwing like that? Ah! <laughs> he throws it. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. But see, now it's a fumble. See, everybody's running to get the ball because it's a fumble. Uh, so in that case, like all all pe all team can have a chance to grab the ball, right? Uh, yeah, anybody can grab the ball. So the, somebody who grabbed the ball get the chance to attack, right? Right. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think you need to show me the real game. Okay. Yeah. See, and if, if you drop it, then it's a fumble, right? Yeah. So in that case, when attack, attack team grabbed the ball, then the game still continues, right? Uh, yeah. But if the defense team grabbed the ball, then... Well, they can pick it up and they can go score a touchdown. Oh, really? They, yeah. In that case, they can get a sixth score? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you can technically throw it backwards as many times as you want, but you can only throw it forward one time, and it has to be... Uh, the one time has to be whenever there's a... Uh... Okay, Aspen, this this is makes me confused. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being stupid. <laughs> You can celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even make the touchdown. Okay. You didn't even make the touchdown. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's look at the next play. Okay. So you you so you want to see something with defense now? Yeah. Okay, uh, practice type, we're going to go normal practice now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, I'm going to do random play on defense, random play on offense. Okay. okay? So Ooh, now, here you go. now, yeah, here you go. Now you have some defense. So this is called a slant play, and it's, look, it's similar to what we did earlier. Remember, we got the, the running back, we yeah, have the tight game. end. Yeah. So. High times. Yeah. And then you go, and I'm basically looking to read the coverage, see who's open, and I'm trying to throw it. Uh, yeah. But see, he batted it down. Uh, so, so, yeah. so what I would look for here, so I'll explain it a little bit more in depth. Um, what, if, what if he intercepts the ball? Then? If he intercepts, I'll show you actually. If he intercepts, he can go score. So I'm going to try and throw an interception here. Okay, I didn't throw for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't throw it. <laughs> but I'm going to try and throw an interception. Why is it not throwing it? Oh, you know what I think I'm doing? Okay, so that's an interception. Oh, oh in practice it doesn't let him go score. What the fuck? In we should get to the real game then. Yeah, in practice, but that, that was an interception. So they caught the ball. What if they, they intercept the ball? Did they get the chance to attack? Uh, yeah. 
So, let's do this. So let's look at this play, right? And like what I would look at. This is a play action. Yeah. This is a fake. How I know this is because it's like how the lineman is. Okay. It's gonna fake the run to the to the running back, and then what I do is I want to have specific reads to see uh, who I'm gonna throw the ball to. Mm. So you see square, right yeah. on the left side. You see square on the left side. Yeah. And it. Uh, what I'm looking at here, there's, there's a couple of ways that he would be open. If they run man coverage, right? Uh -huh. If they run man coverage like and he... Guy toward, like, it, let's like say he's manned up on him and he just runs away from him. Okay. If he's faster, then he would be open. If there's a zone coverage, right, where they go cover an area... Yeah. If they go cover an area and then there's a gap in where the area is, let's say he's covering here and he's... Here, I'm going to do it with the mouse. It's so chat can see better. So if you have him covering uh -huh. here and him covering here, yeah. then there might be a hole right here. Uh -huh. And then I would hit him in the hole in the zone. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. So that's what I would look for here. On the right side, on circle, what I would look for is, honestly, I probably would not throw this unless it's man. Uh -huh. So if he's one-on-one -on -one with a guy and he goes boom, 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 then he has a chance to beat him whenever he cuts. Okay. Because he doesn't know where he's going because he doesn't know where he's going, then he might be open. Mm -hmm. And then if both of these guys are covered, this is also my check down right here. So this is my full back, and I can just throw it to him in the flats and I can get two or three yards. Okay. So what I do here, boom, I'm looking at everything. It's man right here, and then I got him open. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's like, whenever I talk about how like, that's like the chess, the chess match of football, like every play is different. So now it's like we're running a different play. Now we're running a run play. Ah. So with a run play, how a run play works is each one of these guys blocks somebody. Okay. All right? But you want to block people based on the the scheme. So if I'm doing an inside run play uh -huh. and it's supposed to go right here, what I want to do is you want to have all your guys kind of blocking to the right. Okay. So he might block here, he blocks here, he blocks that linebacker, he blocks this guy. He blocks this guy, and then you have an extra. Actually, really what would probably happen is he blocks him, he blocks him, no, he blocks him, these two guys double team this guy, mm -hmm. and then you have this guy block him and this guy block him, he reaches him, right? You work these two guys to him and you work these two guys to him, whoever can get to him gets to him. That's called a zone block, right? And then that guy's man on man on the left side. So what's happening is when they go, they get the double team, you get big yards here because of it. Ah. So you get this big hole. Ah. Interesting. Yeah. Now there's different types of run plays. Like they call them counter plays or power plays. This is a this is a power play, where we hand the ball off immediately to the running back, right? Like normal. You get the ball and you give it to the running back. But what a power play is, uh -huh. is when you have your linemen block down, and then one you take one lineman from one side of the line and put him on the other side. So watch this guard. What he does is he's going to block this way. He's going to turn. He's going to block this way. Okay. He's going to come behind the line. He's going to block this Wait, guy. Wait, all those have a, their own name of strategy? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. It's very so, confusing. So that is... So coach... And quarterback is talking about with those languages. Oh uh, yeah. Like, yo. And everybody knows what everything means. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then blah, blah, blah. yeah. Like like oh shit. Yeah. So so, so when you watch the American football, you understand what kind of strategy they mm -hmm. used. And, wow, you're and fine, like, head, man. Most people don't even know all this stuff. Okay. Most people watching football, they just watch and it's fun to watch. And drinking. And drinking. <laughs> but, <laughs> but most people don't know. I know because I was going to be a football coach. Oh. Right, so I know I know everything. But like, so watch this play. Watch okay. how this guy's going to turn and Bro. go to the right. Ready? Are you trying to make me a coach? Yeah. What the fuck? Give me Coach Joe. <laughs> I thought you were just talking about make me understanding football. Yeah. It's way more deeper than I thought, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Ready? So watch, watch how he turns. He, he turns back. He blocks that guy that I was saying, right? And then the other guy he sucked ass and he, uh -huh. he missed, right? But you see how the blocking works, right? Yeah. So here's another play, right, where this is five wide receivers. 
Is that another name? This is it's a, it's a set. It's a, it's a shotgun. Five shotgun, wide receivers. Five wide receivers. Yeah. Because see, there's no running back. But remember what I say before. How many people have to be on the line? Yeah. Like how, how seven. Many? Seven. Yeah. So you have so one, they're, they're one, two, two, three, four, four five of there. Yeah. yeah, five here. So one, two, and then these guys, this guy, this guy, and that guy's off the line. Right? Uh huh. So that's how you have your seven. One, two, five, and then these three are off, and then you have your quarterback. So what happens here with five wide receivers is very dangerous. Okay. Because normally I have like a running back, a tight end, a fullback. I have somebody back here to help protect. I only have five people protecting. Uh... And they have one, two, three. They have five up here. I don't know how many they're sending to, to, to come sack me, to come tackle me. But now what I do is I have to read the defense, and I would say, like, I have these two guys here that if they're manned up, manned I would up, take yeah. these guys. If there's a zone, I mean, I probably wouldn't throw this in zone. This is a comeback. Yeah. You've got this uh, post here, and you have a crossing route here. Okay. But watch. So what I'm looking for here is it looks like zone coverage, and that, that R1 actually is open, but uh -huh. I, was, uh, I was in a bad position because I was running away because I didn't have enough protection. Uh... You see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now this is this is something that's very, very... Um, uh, who's all on the line? I see five on the line. No, no, I mean five. I meant seven people on the line of scrimmage. So this is called an RPO. RPO? Run pass option. Run pass option. <laughs> okay. Chat, today we're going to teach Joe about how American football works. We're gonna start by teaching him about RPOs. <laughs> what? So, okay, this is like actually very technical. <laughs> Role playing orgy? So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, healthy gamer, Dr. K. Thank you for the raid. Thank you, Dr. K, for the raid. Hope you're doing good. Thank you for the raid. Hello, everybody. Basically, this is like. The quarterback has to be smart enough to be able to read and say, I know if I'm going to run the ball or throw the ball. Oh, so you... So you make one read and then you decide. Oh, this so, so the, that's the quarterback's work, right? Yeah, so the backup plan is you run the ball. So the coach are saying you run the ball, but quarterback is, fuck you, coach, I'm going to do like this. Well, the coach says it's your decision. Oh. Yeah. What? So the backup plan is you run the ball. Okay. But what I do here is because I I'm gonna read right here. I look at. I know the linebacker is here. I'm gonna read this corner and this safety, or yeah, this is a safety on down here. So I'm gonna read these two guys. So I make my one read and I decide: Am I gonna throw this ball quickly or am I gonna not do anything and just hand the ball off? Okay. Huh? <laughs> if, if if this guy stays, uh -huh. oh, I know so you're reading gonna, the defense right now, yeah? I'm gonna read, to read the defense. The defense. Oh. So I, I see where they are now, okay. but as soon as the ball is snapped, I watch how they move. Uh, if he stays right here in this flat area, then you're gonna throw it to. Th yeah, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna hand the ball off. Uh, but if he leaves, then you're gonna throw it to him. Then I'll throw it to him, and also uh, him if he's manned up on him or not. Ah, uh, so you're so making an options, a different options yeah. of what, so how they're gonna move, and then. And then when they suddenly move like that, you, you like, yeah. like suddenly you decide to the different stuff and like do that right. move shit. So in real life, literally, it's quarterback gets the ball and they have one second to decide in what real life. What the fuck? Yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna do this right here. So I'm going to see. Oh, actually, I was trying to throw an interception. That should have been an interception. Uh. That was just, I got lucky. But that, that, that would have normally been an interception. I wanted to show you an example of like a bad read. Okay. <laughs> that didn't really help. That shouldn't have worked, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. This is that motion I was talking about. This is easy look at the blocking. And then just easy yards. Okay. Like 10 yards. 10 yards. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing. This is a draw play where I'm just handing them the ball, and then they go and they block. This one's super simple. Oh, but see... I had five people uh, blocking. That is, uh, but they brought six. Uh, six people out there, so you got tackled. Yeah, so uh. I got tackled. So right here. That's actually that was a, that should have been a penalty. Okay. So let's let's go back, and I want to show you some defense now. Yeah. 
I mean, show show me some real game. I'm kind of confusing right now about the touchdowns and stuff. Ever since I watched. Oh, you want you want to see a straight up real game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think okay. it's way more better for me to understand. Should I thing. should I play? Um, chat. Should I play a game online against somebody? Yes. I never play online. I mean, I used to. I used to play online all the time, but like on stream, I never play online. Let's do it, coach. You can beat them all. Read their minds. So it's technically reading their minds. Oh, like, no. Well, they, they made a good point. They said I should do it against the computer so that I can explain it more easily. Oh, yeah, yeah true. If like... Okay. <laughs> um, should I do it with the franchise I started? I can I can do it with the franchise I started yesterday. Cause cause I I would simulate games anyway, so I think this is fun. Okay. Um Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play against the Saints. Uh -huh. the, the 49ers against the Saints. 49? Yeah. Against the Saints? Yeah. What so, does that mean? That's the teams. The names the oh, teams. team names. Yeah, yeah. Team name is 49? Yeah, the San Why Francisco. Not 69? San Francisco, well, because they they're not the 69ers, they're the 49ers. Okay. Okay. So the 49ers are from San Francisco. So San Francisco against New Orleans. Uh -huh. New Orleans? Yeah. The boring, boring, boring state of jazz. Wait, you think New Orleans is boring? No, born. Oh, born. At least it's boring. I was like, no, wait. No, no, no. Jazz has been born from New Orleans. All right. So, how the game starts. The game starts with a kickoff. Okay? Okay. So, every single Wait, time... where's the to coin toss? Oh, it skips the coin toss. Oh, but there's a coin toss. Coin toss. Coin toss, toss, they, they, get the they get the ball. They get the ball, yeah? So, I'm going to start with the kickoff. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And you have to tackle it, right? Right. So what happened there the is he got the ball. He caught it in the end zone. The if you catch the ball in the end zone, you can kneel, and you can call a touchback. Huh? So you automatically get 25 yards. Or you can run it, you can risk, and you can go score a touchdown. Or get more yards. Oh. So it's like you get a free 25. Oh, so... Oh, so he just... Wait, what? Oh. So the the kicker kicked way too much. Yeah. So they so got really, it at the end end game zone, and so, they just touch it on the ground, so make it as a 50, 50, 50 so start from 50, right? The number 25. So he kicks it here, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And now if... You just need it, yeah. If the ball landed here... Uh -huh. Right. Let's say the ball. If the ball landed like right here. Yeah. Then he would have to. He doesn't have a choice. Have he has to, to run. Have to run, and then yeah. yeah. And the oh, the oh, oh. and the point that they tackled down is the starting point, right? Yeah. Okay, but he got it from end game, so he just needed down, so they can start from fifty. Right. Ah, interesting. So not fifty, twenty-five. <laughs> so so instead, he gets the ball here for free at the twenty-five yard line. Ah, yeah. twenty-five. Ah. Yeah. So so it's like a risk. You take the chance. I mean, there's a chance that he can run it out, and then he goes and scores. More than 25, right? though, but it's kind of risky. So, so he decided to just yeah. Do it. So ah. it, it actually, so this is actually a new rule. It used to be 20. Oh really? Yeah, but they made it 25 recently because what they did is they looked at like the numbers, and a lot of injuries in football were coming from kickoff. Oh. Because what happens is these guys are lined all the way up here, right? Yeah. And then they get and a head running, start, uh, uh, and they run into uh, full throttle. Yeah. So that's basically exactly what happens. Yeah. So what they said is like, okay, let's um let's take it and a lot of these kickoffs, they make it back to the 21, 22, 23 yard line. Uh. They usually get back here whenever they run back. 
So let's make the default, instead of making the default 20, let's make it 25. Oh. So that way it's like they give them more bonus and, and less in, or more less. incentive to, to touch back instead of, instead of running it out. I see. So I they see. did that to basically help prevent injuries by making it like smarter to, to uh, not run it out. Okay. Wow. It's all about math. Yeah. Calculating, man. Okay, so we did kickoff now. And then we're on defense. We are on defense. Why? So, because we kill the ball off. So it's the coin toss. Oh, okay. So I'm going to pick our play here. Oh, I don't have time to do it. Uh, so right here, you see this? This is, a, this is confusing. <laughs> what the hell is that? So right now, I am in... Oh. A lot of tornadoes. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll run the play and I'll explain. Because I only have a certain amount of time to pick the play. So I have to pick the play. Okay, so I'm going to run a 4-3 defense. Four linemen, three linebackers. Okay. And I'm going to make this very simple. I'm running cover one. So you see these white lines? These guys are all man man -bit. And that's the zone one. And I have one zone. So that's what they call it, cover one. Because you have one deep zone. So I this. So now I'm going to go cover two. See, cover two. See, now I have two deep. So, oh, shit. Okay. But this is two deep, and it's, see, it's like a, I have mid, hard flat, mid read. So these guys are, uh, this is a zone coverage. They're covering the areas. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 10 yards, good for a Saints first down. Teach them the basics? We already did teach them the basics. So this one is, you see, cover three. Yeah. So cover three is you have three deep, and then you have, this is a zone coverage again. First down, Winston. That's a sack. The 49ers get there. Hands. Yeah. And they're to drop him for his 11th sack of the That is why sack. Yeah. yeah, so that's a sack because uh, if the quarterback takes the ball and he's trying to throw it and he gets tackled, then he gets sacked. That's called a sack. Uh, then it's it's you, only if the quarterback is trying to throw the ball, it's called a sack. Then you can get the chance to attack. No uh, how much touch on him, well, he, he loses yards. So sacks are really bad because uh, loses yards. it was first and 10 and uh, now it's second and 17. So that's huge. Ah. Uh, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. But still the the the, the 69 team can attack, right? Right. Uh, so I'm on defense again. Second down and 17. Ah. Uh, Here's Winston. See, so he got and get him down on the how many yards? Eight yards right now. Well, no, he got he got nine yards. Uh, nine yards. Yeah. Yeah. So because he got nine yards, now it's third and eight. Right? But it yes. would be third and one if he didn't get sacked. Exactly, exactly. So now he has to get eight yards. So I'm going to run man coverage here. So when you, okay. This is man coverage. On third down, Winston. Oh! Oh, and see, he caught it. Oh. So now he got the first down. He got the first down, yeah. Because he beat the man coverage. Oh. Usually, man cover. I run man coverage whenever I, I, they're going to do short routes and I'm going to be tight on the line on them. But what he did is he ran past him. He beat him, but he ran past him. He's going to show it. And he outran him. Oh. And then he gets. To get the catch, you have to get both feet on the ground. Ah, Not just one. That is why he feet. just like. That's why he <laughs> cut it. Yeah, that's why he cut it like that to make sure both of his feet were. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to do cover one again, which means one guy deep. And then all these other guys are, are lined up in man. Oh, but it's a run play. Oh my gosh. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12 yard line. Thirty-year war. Look, I, he's literally gonna. Oh, I don't. Nobody's gonna understand that. Not even me. So, uh, here we'll do this defense. So now I'm gonna do a blitz. Okay. This is an inside blitz. So look, everybody is manned up. Everybody who can cover somebody is covering somebody. If you don't cover somebody, you're going. This is called a blitz. Here's uh, Winston. 
And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. So a blitz is whenever you're bringing more than four people, technically. Holding. Blitz? Open. Yeah, that's what you call blitz. Blitz. Okay. So erase the, the red Japanese zone. Anime. They'll have to dial yeah. that one up again. And you know how so, difficult it is. So I'm going to do the blitz again. Zone, see, everybody is man, man, man. You see that? Uh -huh. Go back to the play chart and see if they can dial up another one. Ooh, yeah. humble bumble. Uh, honestly, that was almost a fumble. This is like a technicality. So uh, wait, he, he threw the ball to the ball. Well, see, you see where the ball is now. Look at where the ball is before it comes out of his hand. Oh, uh, you see it right now. Yeah. And when he throws it, look at the direction it's going. Ooh. It's going forward. It looks like a fumble, but it's technically going forward. Uh, if he threw it and it was going backwards, backward, then it's a fumble. It would have been a fumble. A fumble. Uh. Yeah. Spirit already sacked him once. Had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tough one again? Makes defense a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm. So it's third and twenty-one. You're doing really good. Just, oh my god. But they're on the twenty-three yard line. So because they're on the 23-yard line, this means that they are in field goal range. So we have to stop them here. If we can get a turnover, that's a fumble or an interception, then then they won't. that's pretty much the only way they won't score, because kicking a field goal is pretty good. Oh, my gosh. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Fourth down, so they can make a new, like, down, kick, kick it off to get a three score, or just get, get through two or to the end game to get a six score, right? Yeah. No, he got a three, three points. So he went for the field goal and he got the three points. Uh, so now that he gets the three points, now what happens? Pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going. Now what happens? Yeah. I would think they have to be happy change. with that start. How does it change? Get your ground game going with means your offensive line okay. and your runners no. are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well. No, it's so kickoff. It's time from. Oh. Faces. So now they kick it off to me. Wait, what? Yeah. For this game. They can't wait to get started. So I have a kickoff. Let's see, it was short, so I'm going to run it back. And I'm at the 26. Uh, I'll kick up again. Oh. So now my offense is going to And I like his honesty because when we sat so down, the quarterback. Really, I mean, he was the first one to say that. Because they do this all the time, they're trying to hype him up on TV. Way too many interceptions. Didn't find the end zone throwing the ball. But his okay, so I see, you see how he's doing this? The coach is talking to him. You see, I put his hand here so I can hear the coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too loud. Okay, so now you're offense, right? Yeah, so now I'm on. So I'm going to do an easy run play for us. Okay. Lance in the 49ers now. First and 10 at their own 26. So this is called a stretch play. That means he's going to block here. He's going to block here. He's gonna, everybody's going to block to the left. It's, a, it's called a stretch. And it's a stretch because I'm running, the running back is going all the way that way, and I'm going to give it to him wide. He, he's going to run out and then up. Okay. Okay, ready? They Boom, start out. Oh, wow. And he'll get this yeah, two yards. Just that was two a, yards. That was yeah. a good. Okay. The numbers for McCaffrey last week. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what so you let's do a uh, let's do a run play here. Go to pistol. Matters, we'll do pistol. The board, and, and then we'll do the, the bootleg. Bootleg. Yeah, play action, bootleg. So this is one that this is a, I like this play because it can beat the man coverage, but it also has different levels. If it's zone coverage, it hits the different levels. You got deep, you got medium, you got short, and then you have a comeback here. That you can uh, beat man. Nice. Okay, ready? And they faked the handoff. Now RB, R1, R1. So what happens there is intercept. Yeah, it's an interception. So when you're throwing an like whenever you throw the ball and he catches it, then he had a chance to run back and score. Oh. See that? But then I have to come to the attack. Right. So pressing it. Finally, on that I was trying to show him an interception because <laughs> we didn't have interceptions in practice mode. I was trying to throw him in double coverage. For their second drive. So you, when you intercept the goal, the then the the even your defensive, you, you can go you know, towards the offensive end game that to that get a score, right? Yeah. Uh, After a turnover, I feel like I <laughs> a little bit or 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 stat? Stat? Or either 
the the yards more. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Extend the yards, like like in wild, wild interception. Yeah, so he gets the ball exactly where they got back to. Uh, so it's the same yard, right? Yeah. If he goes more than the the starting point, then get sacked. Uh, well, sack is only whenever the quarterback is uh. throwing the ball. So when intercepting the ball, offensive has to go to end game to get a score. Is there any other chance to get a score? Um, kickoff return for a touchdown. Uh, punt return for a touchdown. I should try. I should try. I actually, I should try and stop him here so they punt. Oh, I don't know if I. I think they have too many yards left. This will be a field goal again at most. Okay. At least. To throw Winston. He completes it to Alave. Ooh. Sports. And he's brought down inside the 20 Sports. Sharon Duell, thank you for the 25 months. Sin Striper, thank you for the Twitch Prime two months. Or one month. Shevin, thank you for the 21 months. Z Honey Smack, thank you for the nine months. Hello Cat, Goops, Jorgen, thank you guys so much for the subs and resubs. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so um, I'm going to do cover two. What does cover two mean? Cover two? Yeah. Covering two yards? No, two guys deep. Oh. Wait, why Why are you now defensive? Because that is an interception. Ah. So he got the ball. Yeah. Uh, so when you got the ball, then you can get an offensive. Like, directly. Right. Just immediately. Uh, oh, my God. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Yo. It's a Yo. Pick up and it first down. To first and goal. They're making it look yeah, easy. Yes, that's a first down. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Wait, they cannot kick the ball in the field? In the first, first, first down? They'll get this out to come You get a three score? Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle. Uh, they can if they want to. But, they, but they're not going to because they have enough chance. Because they have enough chance, so they try to get into the touchdown. Yeah. Um. He'll get it up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third and down. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join. Oh, the no. Why does my defense suck? Saints. They had two guys on that guy. <laughs> what was that? So it's extra points. So they kick it, so one point get it. Right. But if you run towards to the end game, then you get two points, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, two points if I try to run. Or throw it in. Okay. Kick off. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. See, so I ran out. I got to the 16. Oh, so I should have taken a knee, so I would have been 25. Uh, the final weekend of November is a okay, so now on this drive, I'm going to, like, I'm going to, like, uh, focus on scoring here this drive, right? Because, like, kick off, they, everybody run towards the them, like, right. that is So that is why they made the rules to 25 if you just touch down yeah. on the end. So you get more yards. Uh, yeah. But you have a chance to go score. They go back to the air here after so can you just go back to the end game and just touch the knee? And you, after you grab the ball? Um, no, no, you can't go back. Uh, if you step out, you have to go. I see. Went to California to watch my brother do an Iron Man this weekend. Just got home and he'll be doing no things ever again. Go, Chris. Nice, want to rub butts. Thank you for the five dollars, dude. That's awesome, man. So this is called a zone read. So okay. what a zone read is, is uh, you get tackled in the back. So what a zone read is, is, is um, a read option. So what I do is I look at the D-line, the lineman, and if the lineman comes, then I keep the ball. If, the, if he doesn't come, then I, give, then I give the ball away. Okay. So, so I'm going to look at, look, I'm going to watch this guy right here. Okay, I'm going to watch him. And then I'm gonna make a decision. So he see how he came, and then I'm gonna go. And then I got I, I kept the football and I ran with it. Ah. Yeah. 
They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of down. Run the ball again inside zone. McCaffrey. Ooh. The middle. That was pretty good. That was a good hole, but I didn't get much yards out of it. Five yards is the tally on Five yards. Second line. Yeah, so there's an issue where we have confusion right now. So like it shows us the wrong play sometimes, which kind of makes us hard for uh, Some will. Oh, oh he should have caught, caught it, man. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Shotgun now for Lance. Oh, I threw it to the wrong guy. Oh my gosh, George kills me. <laughs> I, I threw it around. But you've got the first down, though. I didn't get the first down. That ended up being really good, but that shouldn't have worked. Yeah. 21 yards there on third down. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. So, right here, look, circle. This guy's going to be open, but my court. Oh! See, he was open, but he sucks. So right now, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that again. If I see that he's lined up man, uh -huh. like one on one. Oh! Oh, but see, look at Square, square! Oh shit! Sure. Actually, even better, right? Lance's throw pulled in by Kittle, and he'll be marked down right at. Okay, this is called a screen pass. Screen pass. Okay. So screen pass is the lineman miss on purpose, uh -huh. right? The linemen miss on purpose, and then they run outside to block for your receiver, or in this case, your running back. Oh, I'm that time. Now Lance. They'll set up the oh shit! And he will lose now fourth down. Up to the yeah, so it's fourth and down. I call a timeout. No kick for them. We're gonna we're gonna get risk for. No, I'll, I'll kick the four. Seconds kick the ball, to go in the half. Here's the field goal unit onto the field. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So then this is halftime. News, at least they won't okay. take that goose egg into the line. Oh, is it halftime? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's been the greatest of first halves for them, has it? But at least now so 15, 15 minutes, right? Yeah, it's normally 15 minutes, but but in Madden, it's shorter. Sometimes uh, uh, so we can, you know what I mean? Because if it's if it's like real life, then it's like four hours a game is too too much, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Because normally so you're playing, it's like it's like 40, 40 minutes to, you know, like 45 minutes to an hour game. Really? Four hours game? Uh, yeah, it's like three to four hours. What the fuck? But in Madden, it's like one hour. Damn. Once again, got a full slate of games to get to as we take you around the NFL here in week 12. We'll start by heading out west to Glendale, Arizona. And it's the Chargers who are on top in the second quarter. Justin Herbert with two touchdown passes. Cardinals. Yeah, so I was just showing that this for right this the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna run a little bit more. Okay. Okay, coach. So we have the ball. Coming out of half. Gonna play a big role in this third quarter. What's been PC version now? So far. Oh, you have to run. This one taken just inside the ten. Damn. I saw one of the ad breaks. I mean, kind of, but honestly, it's, it's not even just the ad breaks. It's like, hey, uh, it's the nature of the sport. It's like really, like, it's more so that they need breaks in between the plays and they run ads during the breaks. It's kind of like a, it's something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure there's a play action from the defensive side of the ball told the exactly circles that. Yes. Those guys oh my hey. gosh. So he dropped it as he did. What? Yeah, he dropped. See, now they got mad at the team got fans on. Oh. Wait. So he doesn't count at all if he, if he dropped the ball. Uh, yeah, it doesn't count. It's incomplete. Fuck. So there we go. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Please! And oh. he's able to plow oh. forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Okay, an RPO. On this play to move the, sticks. the RPO I was talking about, I make the read. See, I saw that he was going to be open, and I get the first down. Oh, nice. So that's first and 10. Just shy of the 30, they'll mark him down at the 39. He was held with a... Wait, what are you doing? You're changing the players? Yeah, I changed the players. First half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Off 
the option. Here's McCaffrey. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Back-to-back nice plays, 12 yards that time. First, first and 10, first right? First and 10. the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit. What the fuck was that? And maybe hey, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to run a lot. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get a score here. They run with McCaffrey off the no. option. Injury yeah, timeout. Stop Brandon play here at least momentarily. Oh, yeah, it looks like there is a oh, 49er shit. who's in some I'll discomfort. He'll get over. It. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious. <laughs> it's only a broken arm. What a brutal we'll coach. Peak, <laughs> and we'll take a break. Okay, so you have a five yards left, right? Kind of oh, play. oh, ah! Oh, so oh close. man, it was so, so close. So it's more than one. Now we're gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it. Okay. Here we go with McCaffrey. <laughs> he just, what the he fuck? slipped underneath his arms. Wait, how is that short? Christian McCaffrey unable to get to the Wait, what? And the Saints will have the football back. That was not they short. They didn't get it. Probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and. <laughs> That was not short. Did he not? Shouts from his crowd as they watch he didn't the cross the yard, right? That is now, now the defense, defense has been changed, right? Kick one? What? No, if it's turnover on downs, so then they just get the ball. Not right successful there. Mm -hmm. That's going to cost him the first of his timeouts. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. How did I not? Down, that was a yard. Gets into enemy territory. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Working out of the gun. Winston. Throw left side complete to Troutman. Oh, he faked it with a jump. Mm. Now he's got some room. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Penalty. Oh, oh my. Come on. Wait. So that's a penalty roughing the passer. Okay, that so means I tackled the quarterback penalty. after he threw the ball. 15-yard penalty. Right there. Yeah, it all comes down to discipline, oh. doesn't it? So, yeah. so the quarterback the throws the ball, but you tackled the quarterback case, after that. That is a penalty, bit. right? Right. Following the penalty, it's Camara. And the stop will come inside the five of the four. Oh my God. Second and goal from inside the five. Camara. Oh! Going to take this oh down. Oh my gosh, really? The goal line. He got oh my God. But could not get the ball over the jaw. Four six points in for me. Third and goal. To throw is Winston. What? What the fuck? He's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. I dove at him. Did you guys see that? What happened whenever I dove at him? Nobody cared about him. Dude. What? <laughs> How come it doesn't... That's okay. First touchdown right. on the year. And the Saints go up by two touchdowns. Oh, block. And this is blocked. Wait. And the Niners have it. So oh, it's a block. Okay. So it's a blocked field goal or blocked extra point. Uh -huh. So a, a block extra point, you can take it back and now you get two points. So this almost never happens. But now on their extra point, if we score, we get two points. Because it's like a turnover. And it's like a defensive touchdown. And normally if you go for two, you go for two, it's like I'm going for two on defense. It almost never happens. It's super rare. Ooh. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL... We're okay, so we're down by 11 game. points, and we're That's almost done with the third quarter, so things are looking kind of... Yeah. To stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. To go in this third quarter as they come up first and counterplay and he is gonna lose yardage here. Now they can how is how is my controller almost out of battery when it's plugged in all the time? Like is there something wrong with the battery? Second down throw coming by Willis. Oh square, square. Oh fuck. So that's that's called a scramble when the quarterback is running. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And they'll get him down after a pickup. So this is kind of bad. I'm 11 rushes for 36 yards. I'm not really getting a lot of yards anymore. Yeah. yeah. Call it eight yeah. yards. And it's second and two. Wait, wait, what? We have played three quarters. Uh, I, it's just like it's kind of inconsistent. Like if you're getting more than four yards a carry, that's good. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we Two yards. The oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 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 It's a sack. And so that's not a sack. It's only a sack if it's a quarterback throwing the ball. That's a tackle for loss. It's a tackle for loss. Okay. Three yard out. Yep. Gets this one to use. There you go. And he oh. works it past the third. First down. First down. Nice. The and they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now it's the fullback. Oh. Uh, down right around the 25. <laughs> Just yeah. a yard on the first. Why are you trying to keep so running? Uh, Because it's more consistent. Oh. Yeah, so running is like, it's more consistent. It's safer. Oh, okay. Now Willis and also, it way. sets you up for like... There you go. Ah, oh, fuck. What if you, our quarterback's not super good, but that would have been a touchdown. Oh. Uh, has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Ooh, nice. Nice. Hell yeah, brother. Right. And stop the clock it's a scramble. It's a touchdown chance, right? Oh uh, yeah, so now's a chance for a touchdown. To throw, here's Willis. And he'll dump this off to his running Ooh. back, McCaffrey. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's gonna be second and goal. Back to throw, Willis. Oh no! Oh, that was scary. That was scary. Okay, we gotta we gotta get a better formation. Yeah. So if we go here. Oh, shotgun. Yeah, so shotgun. I'm gonna look at Samuel. Okay, Samuel to the left. Yeah. See, my guys have this confusion is really bad because I can't like it's hard to teach. Samuel has been mended. Yeah, it's like it's all messed up here. Samuel, fuck! See, that's a penalty because he's like he's like stopping it. Incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. Guys, I'm gonna kick a field goal. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. I'm going to kick a field goal. It's eight points. So I have to stop him, and then I have to score a touchdown. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly. So this game's actually like getting pretty intense. The necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get it the least. Three and out. Yeah. So you're understanding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fun, man. Yeah. It's actually like super like. What the fuck? Yeah. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. 21. Saints coming back out, ready to go for this next one, drive. One, one, one. Right, Their um, lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. 
trying to run down some clock with Camaro. Because they're they're gonna try and like basically run the clock down. At this point. Okay. They're trying to they're trying to run the game out because they're gonna win no matter what. Yeah. If they if they if, if they hold on the ball to the end of the game, they're gonna win. Ah, uh, that is why they don't risk any time like throwing right. the balls. They just keep running. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, my team. Advan, you should do better. It's my team. <laughs> Read their strategy. Now a first down carry. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Oh them! Dude, my team is so ass. Your fucking players are like retarded, man. How do they, how do they, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with them? Look at them. They just, hey, hey. You should better run faster. Look, guys, Joe's a football fan. He gets it. Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball. Keep their offense on the sidelines. Yeah, so this game's probably over. Yeah. Because they because they got in field range. Unless I block it again. Nice, nice. Seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, here's Kamara. Oh, and the tackle man. made it the third. But see, his game's over. Well, yeah. First. He's gonna, they're going to just kick off. Now the Niners going to settle yeah. for their third and final timeout. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The kick by Lutz yeah, that's game. Good. Unless something crazy it's happens, it's game. Even further. Because I would have to, I would have to score, and then there's something called an onside kick, which is just pure luck. Okay. You kick the ball, but then you get it. What the fuck? Yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm still gonna try and score. Not great in your favor. So now the Niners down on the scoreboard. A minute six to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice nice. here late to have a chance. Ah! First down. So let's see, we, let's see if we can score quick. Let's go here. Oh! That's Debo Samuel. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46 yard line. Oh, that is too risky, isn't it? Uh, I thought he had him beat, but he got stacked. An incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten. Willis to throw. Intercept. He didn't even put his hands up. He just started stumbling. Seventeen seconds now on the clock here. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Ready, go. Now Willis. Triangle. Yes. And he's got McCaffrey open. Woo! Let's see if we can. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle yeah. is made at the Saints 28. But yeah, so that's that's basically like how a full game goes. For New Orleans, and it was their defense that led the way, yeah. allowing just three points. That so do you do you think you do you think you understand half. football now? I think so. Okay, so here here at chat, we're gonna. We're, we're now going to have a, a test, okay? Test? Okay. So here's the test. Um, we are going to go. And now we're going to watch a video. Okay. Watch a video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cowboys versus... Uh, on NFL game highlights. Are you gonna try to test if I understanding strategy? No, no, no. Just like <laughs> if, if you if you can tell what's happening. Okay. Because I barely understand. NFL YouTube. What time okay. is it now? Uh, almost okay. three.
Okay. Yeah, man. Let's do this. Uh, let's see. Can you explain this play to him? Divisional round of the playoffs is underway. No. Okay. Um. <laughs> what was I doing? Wait, Matt Ryan has been benched? Show what's up his fan what's up chat. Go in Indianapolis. <laughs> it's Matt Ryan to the bench and Sam Ellinger to the starting lineup. It's a grade two shoulder separation. Wait, who? Wait, Sam Ellinger? Ellinger to let's go in Indianapolis. It's Matt Ryan to the bench and Sam Ellinger to Wait, isn't Sam Ellinger the uh the guy from Texas? Okay, anyway. Uh sorry. That's news. So I learned Matt Ryan is banshed. Yes. <laughs> okay, um Let's watch this one. Cardinal Saints. Okay, so. All right, Cowboy. No, this is a uh, Saints and Saints Cardinals. And white 69. team. White team is New Orleans, and then the black team is the Arizona. Arizona, New Orleans. Okay. Okay, so so you're gonna tell me what uh what's going on? Okay, so All tell right. me tell me what happens on this play. Okay. Chat, we're giving a quiz. Give it to him again. We do a little bit of traffic here. Okay, what happened there? Second down. Okay, uh, true. Back, my second down. <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Why was that in the highlights? <laughs> okay. He did. He tried to run play, but he didn't go for, further to play there. So yeah. The in the pocket, don't, don't oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's that's, a, that's actually a huge play. What, what the, hell? the hell? Yeah. How about this guy? Last week makes his debut with a 44 yard. Whoa. Sweet. But early in this year, he's just holding on to the ball a little bit too long in a lot of throws. back. Tempo, no huddle. Under Running. Pressure, scrambles. You can do Throw that. the ball. Throws on the run. Grab it. And that's caught. And into Saint territory. Good. Rondale Moore. Good. Second and ten. Oh, oh it's let's go tackle. Down. Yeah, tackle. So it's third and five. A third and five. Third and five. Murray. Down Go the sideline. Ah. Fighting going on here. It's Looking just for nothing. A flag. Is there that not a penalty? Flag. I would have called that a flag. A rent a kicker. I would have called that a, a pass And Blankenship. Cut by Indy early in the season. Is able to put it through. Dalton flushed out, eyes down, field, finds his man First at the 41 yard line. Listed as a tight end, but plays all over the place, and the catch is made here. What the fuck? Meanwhile, yeah. you got three receivers stacked to the right. You got Hill throwing it to Kamara with some blocking. Nice run, run play. Nice. So that's about a screen pass. Rush. Screen pass. Dalton <laughs> fires, finds the open man. First, <laughs> First down. Kamara's First down. Back in. Ooh. Oh, good one. Oh, good, good run. First down. Yeah. This is play number 15 on the third and eight. Rush four. Dalton. Oh, what the fuck? intercept. In zone, Interception. Interception. And then what do he do? Dancing. No, no. <laughs> no, he, he kneeled. He kneeled it. To, so, to so, 25. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, so it's to 20. It's only 25 on kickoff. Yeah, Otherwise, it's 20. But yeah, he exactly. Needed, he kneeled. Ah, exactly. Because yeah. he's like, oh, I'm not going to get 20 yards. I'm just going to get So, just so like, continue to get an offensive. offensive yeah. Trance, right? So now now they got the ball. Blitz coming. Running right through the middle. Eno Benjamin. Inside Woo! the 30. What the fuck? Nice. Dude, I recruited this kid in high school. When he was in high school, I was recruiting him. Really? Whenever I worked at SMU, yeah. Murray I flew a heli we flew a helicopter in his high school. It. What? Kyle yeah. Murray sets oh, up a nice. Trying to lend some stability to that third and goal. Secondary, which is a mess right now. Ah! Walked into the end zone. That's no way. Oh. 
So if he had Judging caught it clean the right away, and he's going to touch down, but he was like, yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. to hold it. And Blankenship is two nice for shoot. two. Sean Payton is in the house somewhere, too. That's Hill all the way to the left. Dolphin looking short, throwing, caught. That is Kemba White. White with a lot Woo! of room to roam down the side. Holy Does shoot. Step out or Damn, no way. All the way inside. He is all the way to the goal, man. Second Almost. Goal, Almost to goal. Go. To there you go. Line. Caught by Hill, and he will uh, barrel his way into the end zone. Touchdown. Nice. Dalton to Hill. And Justin Evans. I have a one question. Action, okay. Gray if somebody tried to tackle well. you, and yeah, you didn't ten. fail it, can you step Murray. on him? Goes over the top. Uh, you can't step on him. The races go <laughs> yeah, you can't step on him. Yeah, no <laughs> like stepping. If the pile of people and just goes through, like, can you just, like, no, tunk, no, tunk, no. Tunk, no. Tunk, oh. You know, somebody stepped on somebody before. Uh huh. Drop second and seven to the outside. Oh. Open, making the green. It was really bad. Uh, was it Nama Sue? Sue? Yeah. This is a big drama. Watch this. Let's take a look. It's from like 10 years ago. Uh huh. Yeah, he's just that cap Love. Again on him, Joe, and it's something that he's going to have to do. Well, oh, shit. Right at the end of that play. I didn't catch that. It looks like maybe that's what it was. What the Why fuck? He's he keep stepping on him. That's Sue. Yeah, there was another one. Cause that one, that one is like, uh, this one's actually not as bad. He did it twice. He did it twice. That's why, that's why it was like, uh, it was against the Packers both times. Damn. Uh, oh, I'm thinking of Albert Hainsworth. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, he's like pushing his head against the ground. Maybe I'm thinking of Albert Hainsworth. Oh, wait. And a flag is down thrown into the end zone. Five-yard run for the score, and it appears to be against the Titans. And an injured player, Andre Gerard, seems to be shaking up the Cowboys center, who's having a big year. There are two fouls on the score in play. Unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 92, for stopping a player's helmet. We also have an additional penalty for throwing his helmet to the ground. That player is disqualified. Both penalties will be enforced. Oh, yeah, they kicked him out of the game. Because watch. Look, he stepped on him in a pile. You see that? 92? Oh, shit. Oh, dude, I don't even remember how bad this was. His helmet is off. And he stepped on his head with cleats. Unbelievable. I think he's bleeding. And there is Gerard with a towel to his head and Hainsworth has been disqualified so he got kicked out uh yes yeah, so they kicked him off damn the yeah okay so no no stepping on people yeah you can't step on people okay <laughs> this guy dude Albert Hainsworth was uh, this guy huge huge bust this guy sucked didn't he have like one good year I think he had one literally one good year Oh, Antonio Brown jump kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The punter. Antonio Brown. This was, okay, this one's just funny, dude. What is it? Oh, it's this one. This guy is actually crazy. The, this, this guy, he's, he's, this guy, this is actually a crazy person. Watch this. What the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> 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 
What the fuck was that? <laughs> this is probably the craziest punt return of all time. Like, it it's so great. It's so it's impressive. Yeah. He was doing so great. He's like, bitch. What the <laughs> I think I think he was trying to jump over him and he missed. Right in the face mask. That's a penalty, right? Yeah. That's fucked. They gave him. Did they give him a penalty for this? There. I don't remember if they did or not. That will definitely. I don't remember if they gave him a penalty or not. They did. Oh, they fined him afterwards, but it wasn't a penalty. Damn, that is, that is... <laughs> yeah, this guy is actually... <laughs> wait, 51 times Antonio Brown yeah, preview is crazy? A list of 51 crazy things Antonio Brown has done, all of which led to perhaps his grand finale on Sunday against the Jets. Where do we begin? Well, we're going to try and go in chronological order as best we can. So let's first take it back to Florida International University. A.B. had earned a football scholarship there, but that didn't last long as he got into a fight with a school security guard. <laughs> After he transferred to Central Michigan and was eventually drafted by the Steelers, he became a star receiver. And once he realized the power that came with being a star, the ego grew exponentially. At one point early in his career, he nearly fought teammate Ryan Clark and famously told him, don't touch me, I'm the franchise. <laughs> At the end of the, the 2016 season, Brown said his name was now Ronald Ocean and Ben Roethlisberger was to be called Billy. When Big Ben was asked about it, he said, I have no idea. I don't know where it came from. He was calling himself Ronald Ocean and was calling himself, <laughs> called himself Ronald himself. Ocean. I did not know this. After the Steelers divisional round win later that season, Brown was secretly filming himself live on Facebook during Mike Tomlin's postgame speech, where a coach is heard saying, stay cool on social media. In June 2017, <laughs> Brown purchased a self-portrait of himself donated by an artist for charity. And you guessed it, he never actually paid for it. Not even for charity. Oh, in October no. 2017, Brown flipped a Gatorade cooler after not being targeted by Ben Roethlisberger. Or should I say Billy. 2018 offseason, <laughs> this year things would get even worse. Brown installed well, like a butterfly sting like AB. Take care of it and kill off. Yeah, this guy was at one point one of the best receivers in the NFL. Call back up oh. the guy who installed the but he's just an insane person. Ron, and by the way, he never paid that guy. After the first game of the 2018 season, Brown threatened to beat up a reporter, saying, Wait until I see you, bro. We're going to see what your jaw like. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. In response it's a bunch to a tweet of saying that Roethlisberger was responsible for Brown's success. AB tweeted back, trade me, find out. That same week, he failed to show up for Monday team meetings. A few weeks after that, Brown was sued for throwing furniture off his 14th floor balcony after he almost hit a two-year-old. He also burned and smashed things in the condo as well. One month after that, he was cited for speeding over 100 miles an hour. In December 2018, he didn't play in the final game after throwing a football at Roethlisberger during practice then proceeding to skip practice for the week. One teammate called the situation the worst he'd ever seen. If only he knew what the future held. <laughs> January 2019, AB was accused of pushing his girlfriend. Wait, hold on, 2019, they're still- weeks later, he posted a picture of himself in a 49ers jersey. Right around that time, he dyed his mustache blonde, <laughs> a look that would soon become synonymous with a new nickname. Gone are the days of Ronald Ocean and welcome the infamous Mr. Big Chest, a.k.a. MBC. In March of that year, Brown told ESPN that he doesn't need football, and if they want to play, they're going to play by his rules. Within a week, the Steelers attempted to ship the Big Chest to Buffalo, but he protested the trade so much that it fell through. Soon after, he was traded to the Raiders, but his mind was still on the Steelers. Juju Smith-Schuster was named the team MVP, and in response, Brown just had to tweet that Juju fumbled the whole postseason away. In August 2019, oh my Brown arrived at training camp on a hot air balloon. 
But team doctors discovered that he suffered severe frostbite after not wearing proper footwear in a cryotherapy chamber in France. Oh my Within gosh. Within a couple weeks, Brown had told the Raiders that he was willing to retire after the NFL updated its helmet safety standards. <laughs> but he then decided to paint over his old Steelers helmet and sneak it into practice. But he was caught. Before the season could even begin, <laughs> I didn't know that. That's so GM, funny. Okay, so on. Well, so Joe, what happened with this guy is um, they changed a lot of the rules for like the helmets and stuff to make them better. Yeah. And he said, "No, I don't want. I don't want a new helmet." So he took his old helmet <laughs> and he painted it with the new team that he was on. <laughs> so he's using a helmet from like two years ago. Calling him a cracker and being held back by Vontez Perfect of all people. One day after the fight, Brown posted audio online of a private phone call with coach John Gruden, asking him if he wanted to be a Raider or not. And one day after that, he famously posted a video screaming, Grandma, they free me! <laughs> after being made aware that he was released from the Raiders. <laughs> the Patriots quickly signed him, but that doesn't stop him from liking a tweet about Mayock getting uh, something so, something terrible with Mayock's butt. Three days after being signed, Brown is hit with allegations of sexual assault. But once again, his talent prevails and he scores a touchdown in his Patriots debut. The day after that, Brown's doctor accuses him of repeatedly farting in his face. Oh yeah, he also owed him $11,000. Before Brown could make it to a second game, he threatened the accusing woman with intimidating texts while being sure to include his lawyer in the group chat. And oh that was my God, what an idiot. Career. After thanking the team, he proceeded to take shots at owner Robert Kraft and, of course, Roethlisberger on his way out as he tweets that he will not be playing in the NFL anymore. Four days later, he said he wanted to come back to the NFL. <laughs> but during that time, Four he days. also filed multiple grievances against the Raiders and Patriots in an attempt to get back $40 million. Then almost immediately after that, he asked the Patriots to call him and let him play. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that during this time, AB had re-enrolled at Central Michigan to take some online classes. But then he asked Twitter to help him with his English paper. And yet another thing that happened in early October 2019, Brown was called a belligerent lunatic during his deposition for the condo case. Things were quiet by big chest standards until December when he tweeted out, no more white woman 2020. <laughs> And that his father was a failure. What the fuck? 2020. The what? 2020. Get to try him out. They did have one request though, and that was for Brown not to bring an entourage. Of course, not only did he show up with an entourage, but an entourage with cameras. Soon after, in January, he turned to a rap career and released his debut single, "Whole Lot of Money," where he repeatedly tells everyone that he has a whole lot of money. Three days after that, he enters talks with Logan Paul about a boxing match. What? And within days of that, he posts a video of him calling local cops a bunch of slurs. He must have forgotten that he had ties with a police youth football league who quickly cut those ties. <laughs> Speaking of cutting ties, he also lost his agent Drew Rosenhaus and had previously lost his lawyer. About a week after that, yes, we're still in January 2020, he was accused of throwing rocks at a moving truck after refusing to pay the driver. And three days later, an arrest warrant was issued against <laughs> Brown for burglary with battery. In July 2020, he announced his NFL retirement yet again. Two days after that, he said he wants to play again <laughs> and asked for the league to have what the investigation fuck? on his sexual assault case. Roger must have listened because by the end of the month, the NFL announced an eight-game suspension. At the yeah. end of October 2020, Brown signed on with the Bucks. But in November, he's accused of breaking a surveillance camera and throwing a security guard's bike in his gated community the previous month. The Bucks managed to hold down Mr. Big Chess for about a year, which included a Super Bowl win. But in November of 2021, Brown's former chef said Brown failed to pay him. And the chef said he obtained a fake vaccination card submitted to the Bucks. The NFL announced that Brown would be suspended three games for that fake card. When he returned from suspension, he accused the press of being all about drama while he was all about football. But six days later, well... Yeah, he, he quit football. Again, I guess. That was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. He took his pads off in the middle of the game. Took his pads off 
and ah, and ran off the field. Literally oh shirtless God. and ran off the field. Yeah. Like Tom would retarded and Tony Rose for nights and one of the greatest achievements of the most. Yeah, um This guy's insane. Yeah. But dude, that's the thing about football. A lot of times, like the, the sport is fun and interesting, but uh, I think what makes the NFL and, and what, what makes so many of the, I mean, not just even, even college, like, what makes it fun is storylines. Exactly. You know? Oh, my gosh, the Vontae's perfect hit. What is that? Vontae's perfect, Antonio Brown, yeah. So, this this hit, everybody says, like, this literally is the hit that made him go crazy. I don't even know if that's true. I think this guy's always been crazy, but... You can't even really see it well. They're going to show you. You see it on the replay. The Steelers in field goal range. Perfect two. It's coming across the field. I saw it. I thought it was him. Yeah, and I know that they both were in on the cover. Dude, that Bengals team, by the way, was nasty. Like mercenaries. That? that they had that was a dirty roster. Definitely took the shot to the head. They had a lot of talent, but there were a bunch of guys that were like rejects from other teams because they had character problems. On the sideline the whole time oh, it seemed like hit. two Vontes perfect and yes. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. Still down. That's, of course. Holy shit. Not yeah, even holding illegal. a ball, though. Yeah, exactly. It's illegal. You got a penalty for it. Out of control. Out of control. It's going to be everything. That's going to be suspension. Fine. <laughs> yeah, that hit was brutal. Interesting. Yeah. All right. When Vontae. Yeah. So, what do you think? You think you learned football today? I think so, yeah. I'm so excited to, to go to Tailgate. Dude, yeah, so chat, what do you guys think about Joe coming to a Tailgate? Now I know. I'm ready to enjoy this shit. Yeah, we're looking at maybe if, if we do a Tailgate with. Uh, we were thinking about going to NC State. Yes! Because Joe has to go to North Carolina anyway for something. Yeah. So, we're like. We can go to NC State versus Wake Forest. Woo! Does NC State have a good tailgate atmosphere? <laughs> Pog, no. Pog, NC State. Pog. UNC is better. Uh... Well, here's the thing. Uh, NC State is number 24. You think NC State at number 24 is going to be more than uh, UNC? Oh, but UNC doesn't have a game that weekend, I think. ESPN college football schedule. Let's see. ESPN. I mean, because if we, I, I'm trying to think of a game for this week. I've thought about for this week. Wait, what is this schedule? Uh, there. I was thinking about for this week. I want to do a two o'clock, three o'clock game. Uh, is Wake Forest? Is this game on the schedule yet? NC State. Oh, that's a 7 o'clock game? Damn. Damn, that actually sucks. Oh, that means... Hmm. Why is it sucks? 7 minutes, 7 p.m. game. Because I like doing them at noon. Uh. Yeah. Um, I mean, we could do a tailgate this weekend, too. 
Wait, should we have to fly over? Yeah, we have to fly somewhere. God damn it. Yeah. But um, Florida, Georgia. Florida, Georgia. I wonder if Florida, Georgia would be that good because it's in Jacksonville. You guys go to go to Tennessee, Georgia. Tennessee, Georgia is going to be wild, actually. Um, Nebraska would be good, too, this weekend. Illinois, I bet Nebraska would be a good one. But yeah, I would I would really like to do tailgate. If we could do tailgate, that'd be great. Or even Kentucky at Tennessee. I bet I bet Kentucky at Tennessee would be great. Where is where's college game day going this week? Nebraska is terrible. Really? I feel like Nebraska's tailgating environment would be great. Yeah, but the team is terrible. Here's the truth: the team. It doesn't matter how good the teams are; it matters how good the tailgate is, you know, for the stream. That's really what matters. Well, we got to figure it out because I actually don't know because UNC, NC State, tailgating atmosphere. Yeah, I don't know. Man, I bet NC State is good. But man, Tennessee at Georgia would be insane that week. Tennessee at Georgia would be insane. Uh, Florida, Georgia would be insane. That's right, for this week. Yeah, I have a lot of thinking to do, chat. I got a lot of thinking to do. Student tell you isn't state at NC State? NC, NC, NC. Game day will be at Penn Street v. Ohio Saint Big Ten matchup. New Wait, is game. that this week? Tailgate should be wild. Is that this week? Yeah, this week Saturday. Oh, but it's at 11 a.m. See, 11 a.m. is not going to be good. When's the Penn State whiteout game? NC State also was... was huh? Oh, no, the whiteout happened already. Yeah, dude, look at this. This is Penn State whiteout. This is their whole f what this, the is, this is fuck? Penn State. Isn't this crazy? Isn't this insane? Everybody wears white. Holy shit. That's insane. Yeah, we gotta think of a game. Chat, we gotta think of a game to take Joe to. Yeah. Yeah, we really gotta we really gotta figure it out. So I, I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll think about it off stream. I could do it on stream, but I, I'd rather. This is actually very confusing because honestly, we're at the point. I wanted to have somewhere between like six to eight tailgates this year, and we've only had two because we've had a lot of trouble. Let's go NC that. then. NC State could be. I think it'll be good if we go ten. Let one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. See, like we need to. Yeah. Um, yeah. isn't it, isn't, isn't, isn't it tailgate is supposed to be like drinkings and stuff? Yeah, exactly. Isn't it better to go with around like six? Uh, noon, three o'clock games are the best ones because it's for stream too. Oh. Because I start my stream at noon. True. Yeah. So, but yeah, 
I think that will be good. I think it'll be good too. So, but but we'll we'll see. I'll figure it out. Uh, I can talk to you about state tailgating now. Blue, is it good? Is NC State good tailgating? That's cool. Georgia versus Tennessee ticket price, yeah, over five hundred dollars. Yeah, I gotta figure it out. So, uh, anyways, Joe is now a football expert. Is that true? Yes. Joe has become an expert on football. First down. First down. So Joe is very, very excited about football now. He's uh, he's a football professional. Chat, did you guys learn something? Those of you guys who didn't know football, did you guys learn something today? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Actually, yes. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad people learned. Yeah, I'm glad people learned something today. Now I gotta go living room and watch some football. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Actually, there's football tonight. Really? Yeah, Monday night football during my OTK meeting. It's, it's during the OTK meeting. Though. Oh, shit. He also learned that Antonio Brown is crazy, yes. <laughs> yeah. I think I've, I've learned too much stuff. Yeah, you might have learned too much. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit too much. But yeah, very good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Chat, will you take care of Joe while I go to the bathroom? Here. Sure. Don't let them be mean to you. All right. All right. Chat, take care of Joe for me. Hello. Chat, I want you two guys to make S Van goes to NC. I want you two guys to convince him to go to NC. NC game, okay? Because I have to go to NC. Not North Korea. <laughs> to meet my family. Yeah. There's no point that I have to go to NC. There's no streamers, nothing much down there, to be honest. But my sister is there. Yep. North Carol <laughs> North Korea target. <laughs> How did she get there? Bro, my sister is American, Chad. I don't I don't have a no no my entire family is in Korea but only sister. What? Yeah, seriously, she got a citizen citizenship. She's not Korean anymore. No, she she got married, man. Okay, no more, no more, no more talking about my sister. <laughs> no, like she, no, she ex looks exactly same as me, but longer hair. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> God damn it. Invite her to Target. Maybe if she wants to. I mean, she already came up to my stream a lot, like long time ago. <laughs> but I don't think she watching. She watches football. Yeah. Sick. Did you have fun while pooping? I had a great time. You had a great time? Yeah, I had a great time today explaining football. I had a great time everything. Hell so, yeah. So, um, in case we make this into a YouTube video, I'm going to say, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are watching on YouTube. Watch my Twitch live, twitch.tv slash SFANTV. I do literally everything. YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter. Everything is SFANTV. If it exists, it's SFANTV. Chat, say bye, YouTube. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. True. And hit the bell as well. And uh, watch Tailgate Tour. More Tailgate Tours coming soon, I promise. Yeah! Bye, YouTube. Nice.
Cool. Sick. <laughs> I don't even know if we're going to make that into a YouTube video, but maybe. <laughs> that might be super hard to follow. But if exactly. we're going to make that into a YouTube video, it'll probably be good. Exactly. Yeah. And then that way it can be like the explanation of how football works. Yeah. It was good. It was good teaching, man. Thanks for thanks for teaching me, yeah. brother. All right. I got to go downstairs and grab some eat. I haven't eaten anything. Okay. Sounds good, dude. Yo, man. All right, chat. Say bye, Joe. Bye-bye. Have fun out there, chat. Yeah. And, oh, and here, here. Watch this. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I want I want to try this. Which one? Chat. Uh, can we do? Uh, we're doing this new feature. Does that work? Bonnie is looking good today. Pepe laugh. Do you see? Uh, hey, at the top, at the top of chat, do you see a? Uh, uh, Hello. Shout out Charming Joe. Does that work? I'm Bony. I'm Net Joe. <laughs> That's a really good Bony. <laughs> That's a really good Bony impression. Right? Yeah. Wait, it's not working. No, I think it I think it works if you don't if you don't already follow them. Bony. Oh really? Yeah, it's pretty sick. How does it work? Like It worked? Yeah. <clears throat> That's sick. Yeah. Yeah, it has a follow button on it. So really? It. Yeah, it's new. You can shout out people on follows your button. What? Yeah. Isn't that sick? Chat, do you guys want to play Madden today? Do you guys want to continue our Madden franchise? Do you guys want some Coach S fan today? Sure. I think I think some Coach S fan would be good. Yeah. Because we have OTK meeting tonight, so it's not going to be a long stream, but maybe we can... Uh, maybe we can do a little bit. Yeah, man. A little bit of, a little bit of Coach S fan. Do the Colts? No, no, we're doing the... We're doing the... Um, we're doing the Niners. We haven't eaten anything, have you? What's your favorite food to eat? Like, ever, Joe? Um, Pho. Like pho? Yeah. Why Why is it... Uh, I always call it pho because I'm K-Kona. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, very K-Kona. Okay. So, how do I fix that? Pho. Pho is good. I can say pho? Yeah, you can say pho. Because it's pronounced pho. Who the hell is calling me right now? It's me. Huh? Yeah, yeah. There's no chance that people are going to call me in America. I don't... <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, do you want to answer it? Or do you want to ignore it? I mean, do you want to unmute it? Fuck. Uh, I don't know. That's some weirdo. <laughs> crackhead. Do you know, do you know any crackheads? Crackheads? No, yeah. I've never played Joby, it. I've OC. never seen it. I also <laughs> don't know what crackhead means. <laughs> Uh, no, Joe wants to go eat, I think. I think Joe wants to go chill. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sick. That was good. That was fun. What, are, what is your plans for the rest of the day? Today? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Hachu said she's going to prepare some dinner. Okay. And she she was asking me to hang out with some friends, but I don't know who they are. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Well, cool. Yeah, man. Hi, dude. Yeah. Um. What next? That's when are you going to teach me the gym? Oh, yeah. We should do a workout stream. Yeah. Chat, what if I did a gym stream with, uh, with Joe sometime? Sure. Workout stream with Joe before he leaves. And we got to teach Joe how to, how to, uh, exercise. <laughs> right now? No, not right now. But no, I'm going to. But, I'm gonna knock out. I'm sleeping. Yeah, yeah. You should go sleep. You barely slept. What time did you go live today? I did like uh, 10 a.m. Well, when I was trying to go live, you were sleeping at a couch at the yeah. living room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just sleeping on the couch. But, um, bro, ever since I quit drinking, I cannot sleep. Really? Yeah. 
Oh, you should drink more then. <laughs> <laughs> There's no drinking here. Uh, you don't do you have a alcohol. No, we do. I mean, I've seen some tequila though. I don't know. I actually don't know how we have so much alcohol in my house because I didn't. I don't buy it. There, yeah. There's just alcohol that just accrues at my house, and I don't know why. Who's who's buying it? I don't know. Maybe Boney. No, it was, it's been here forever. Oh really? Is it expired? Chat. Can alcohol expire? No. Maybe sometimes. I don't know. Bro, there's so many expired food in your. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even know yeah. how to get it. Other I people think, just put it there. I'm like, all right. I think I ate some of them and I got sick yesterday. Wait, what did you eat? I don't know. Some, some oat milk. Oat milk? Yeah. I don't even know we have oat milk. <laughs> There's fucking five oat milk in your fridge. What are you talking really? about? Yeah. <laughs> five different types of oat milk. Well, well congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I had no idea. Really? Yeah, was it from when Mink stayed there? Actually, it might have been. To be honest, some of it is probably. Yeah, probably some of it is. Alright, I gotta go downstairs, play some Genshin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait, what's your, uh, how, uh, how big are you on Genshin? Like, how, like, how, how, va how valuable is your account? How valuable? Yeah. I spend 4k. Uh, damn. <laughs> That's a lot. How, but how much is that? Like, is that a, is that a lot or is that not that much? I mean, I have six sieves of Yeran. You know. So, so, are you like? Would my, you be? My adventure level is 51. I'm not that like very hard user. Oh really? So yeah. 4k is not even that much. 4k is. Is like yeah, normal? Just normal. I'm just collecting really? characters. And I have one six thieves character in it. Yeah. So so what is a whale? How much do you have to spend to be like a whale? It's a, it's technically Genshin is it doesn't matter how much you spend on it. Like it's it's matter of how much time you spend on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you grind hard, then you can get reached to some valuable account. Right. Yeah. But so, so I, it's not, I choose it, I choose kinda because I the, the reason that I spent a lot of money on it because I want to collect every character. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is that is why. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. To yeah. be honest. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Uh, that's a, that's a better reason than. Uh, I mean, than just, just for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> they are so cute. Yeah. Wow. Ah, yeah, yeah. Cute characters. Uh, well, okay, I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop bothering you then. So you can go eat and play Genshin. Don't even bother me at all, though. But thank you so much for letting me in. All right, dude. Chat, say bye, Joe. Bye, bye. Have fun. I will. All right, gentlemen, are you guys ready for some football? Are y'all ready to to play some Madden? Aston, did you lock me here? I did. Wait, is it locked? <laughs> Wait, really? Is it locked? What? Oh, you got it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs> Dramatic exit. Joe's great, chat. Joe is, Joe is fantastic. Joe is fantastic. All right, chat, are you guys ready? See, Matt Ryan got benched. Well, he didn't actually get benched. He's injured. So he's not like benched, benched, right? Like, you know? Lions suck. I was in love with Joe, but now he's gone. I'm so sorry. I ruined your life. Are you gonna play as? We're gonna play as the 49ers. We started a new franchise yesterday. Dude, you know what? E Rob needs to come over. We need to play Madden again. I wanna play Madden with E Rob. That's what I wanna do.
Your rob is awful? Dude, your rob is awful at what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean your rob's awful? What do you do? Everything? Oh, okay. Uh, this should be good. Yeah, true. He's bad at Madden, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, are you guys ready? Dude, I gotta get in character. Hold on. Chat, I gotta get in character. Do you have any more game fuel left? Let's get ready to open the tables. Let's go. Bum bum. Bum bum. Wait. Oh, wait. The cleaning ladies came and they took my, my, oh, hold on. I think my hoodie's downstairs. Hold on.
Okay, chat, we have an issue. Guys, we have a major issue. So, the cleaning ladies put my new 49ers hoodie inside of the dryer for 90 minutes. <laughs> so it's very, very short on me now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> guys, this is a... <laughs> Happy Twitch baby, D. So, <laughs> I'm trying to stretch it out. <laughs> I was looking for it, and I was like, where is it? And I, and I noticed the dryer was on. Bonnie saw it's true. <laughs> so, uh... It's okay, we'll make do. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. It's a European cut. Yeah, chat, it's a European cut, okay? It's fine. I cannot believe how, how... I literally just got this for this franchise, too. <laughs> it's tailored. It's a tailored hoodie, okay? It's a tailored hoodie. Mm -mm -mm. All right, chat, you guys almost ready? Because I'm almost ready. Okay, you gotta crack open a game fuel. Do a Colts franchise with Ellinger? <sighs> Give the cleaning lady a raise. I like how tight your sweater is now. Thank you. Coach is back, hooray. Coach is back. That's right. That's right. It's mighty good content.
Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's see. Oops, don't worry, I ordered the ice cream. It should be here by half time. I was not ordering ice cream in case of, uh, in case we want to see them. Okay. Uh, we lost. Okay, the next game we're going to play, chat. Yeah, Hobie, I've got something wrong with this computer. If I don't restart it, it starts skipping frames. Do we go for a playoff run today? I have to leave in two hours. So really, I have two games. I can play two games and then get ready for the playoffs. Gamba, Gamba? Are you guys ready for some Gamba? Dude, I love that Evo Dr. Eleven made. It's so good. So we should play... Should we, do you guys want to play against Miami? Let's see, what our, let's see what our schedule is for the rest of the season. Any tablers? Chat, S fan M. We're gonna open the tables. <laughs> we have Dolphins, Bucks, Seahawks, Commanders, Raiders, Cardinals. I think what we should do is we should play against the Dolphins and then sim all the way to the Cardinals and see what happens. I feel like that's more good. Or we could, honestly, we could just sim and go for an offseason today. Let's see, players ready to negotiate. Scared of Brady. I'm not scared of Brady, okay? Jason Verrett. Dude, we, we actually need to sign a corner, too. We got to draft a corner, too. Oh, he wants to play one more year, okay? Mike McGlinky, yeah, let's keep Mike McGlinky. We need him. We need O-line. We need we need secondary. We don't have the cap. <gasps> wait, our cap room? Wait, 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 what? Hold on, is our cap situation bad? It's twin coach. Hold on, dude, what? Our cap situation bad? Hold, how is our cap bad? Let's see. Hey, coach. Oh my gosh. How are we paying Trent Williams this much? Dude, all of our money is gone. Can we renegotiate his contract?
or the best coach. Thank you, Tazzaroni. James Powell, thank you for the 18 months. What's up, man? Fiend Dog, thank you for the nine months. Happy Twitch Baby, Shaney, thank you for the nine months. Grim Man, four months. Thank you guys so much for the Sazzle Resub. They make the linemen look so healthy. Um, I actually think they don't. Dude, NFL linemen, I mean, most of them are, are not as, uh, they're not really like fat. Sometimes they make them look sloppier than they are. Now, some guys are kind of sloppy, but like they're just freaks of nature and they're super strong and they're amazing at football. But, um. Christian McCaffrey. When they enter the zone's ability, increase their success rate on possession when they have catches. See, ankle breaker. When they enter the zone, they have increased fakes and hurdle after the catch. Breaking ball. Don't avoid, they create it when they enter this ability and reason strips and so first one free. Some players thrive on making defenders look silly when they enter the zone, this ability increases their fake out rate on the next juke spin real. See, I think I think first one free is what we should go for. Human joystick. What's better, human joystick or evasive? Because I feel like Backfield Master is like... I gotta have Backfield Master, right? Why are you guys... Why is he guys scootsing? Stop scootsing. <laughs> backfield Master. Wait, where is Backfield Master even at? Oh, I think that's, that's, oh. That's an ankle breaker. Right? Where, it went away, where's Backfield Master? It's gone. I don't think it was Backfield Mismatch. I think it was Backfield Master. Am I wrong? Did it not say Backfield Master a second ago? I just didn't go live. Are you guys even listening to what I'm saying? It was Master? Where did it go? Well, I suck. I know, that's why I'm playing as them. I'm a Cowboys fan. I'm gonna do ev human joystick. And evasive. Okay, whatever, chat. We're just going. But this is bad, dude. A lot of, like, really important players are... This is, this is bad. We're kind of in bad shape. You know what? Actually, we won't even play the. We'll, we'll play the Bucks. You guys, you guys say I'm scared of Brady. How about this? How about we play against the Bucks? How does that sound? We're not gonna. We're gonna. We're not gonna lose to the Dolphins anyway. There's a zero percent chance we lose to the Dolphins anyway. So. Chat, it's time to open the tables. 
We lost? What the hell? Dude, at this point, honestly, maybe we should just tank. Should we just tank for a draft? And then and then do the offseason today? Do you guys want to do offseason today? I thought that's what we were doing. No, we were not tanking. Do you have draft picks? Uh, I guess I haven't checked. I mean, I'm assuming. Okay, I will simulate a few more weeks. I will sim a few more weeks and kind of see where we're at. Okay, here, here's our options, chat. Here, here's basically where we're at. We can either, sim we have two hours left before I have to leave for my OTK meeting, two and a half. We can either uh, try and play a couple games. Okay, these are the options. We can either try and play a couple games or uh, we can simulate and just go for the off season and then next time we play, we, we have like all our storylines and stuff set up for the, for the new season. I thought we started tanking yesterday. We did not start tanking yesterday. Okay, that is something that absolutely did not happen. Or, or or what we could do is we could try playing one of the games. Okay, we could try playing one of the games and uh, kind of going from there and seeing how, how it pans out. That's also something we could do. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna simulate until the last two weeks of the season and we will make our decision there. How does that sound? We simulate until the last two weeks of the season and that's where we make our decision. Okay. Advanced week. Forty-two to twenty-one. F. So we're gonna simulate to the Raiders. Okay, thirty-eight to fourteen. Win. New injury. Samson Abukum. Aaron Banks. Wait, we should be managing our staff. Look at all our staff points. Okay, view talent trees. Oh, we gotta put our talents in. Player personnel trades. Um, trade discount for CPU draft picks. Four percent. Increase trade value for our draft picks. See, this is the big thing is, is trades. Uh, trade discount received you 2% uh, trade value for, C for user players. Okay, I'm gonna wait. It's been free HDMI. No, no, this is good. What do you do with another one?
46 defense. Man, that's a big scheme fit, actually. Okay, if we're six and nine. Okay. Um. I think I think it's tank tank time. Yeah, I think it's I think we just I think we go for the Bum 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 bum. Tank and rebuild the O-line. Frick, we won! Dude, we should have made ourselves lose. You have no draft picks till the fifth round? Wait, are you serious? Wait, how do you know? Scout college players. The Niners trade everything for Christian McCaffrey? Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, if that's the case, Oh my gosh, and we won the last two games. Oh, we didn't even make the playoffs. We won two games and didn't even make the playoffs. Are you serious? Why even win those games? Dude. This could be bad. I mean, we could trade people. Damn, Malik Willis developing. Okay, that's that's a this is a positive sort of like uh, Danny Gray. I don't think anybody ever actually tanks, Daniel. I don't think people tank like actually tank in real life. linebacker abilities oh avalanche um Mid zone lurker is the, is the best, really. Debo Samuel. I just I think nobody ever actually tanks in the NFL because. 
Tanking is is people lose their jobs because of it. You know what I mean? It, it's so not smart. Rixie, thanks for giving this up to call me Cargan. Stab moves. Jaguar is fired. Lions fired. They're firing everybody, dude. Texans fired their coaches. Managed staff. Okay, we dude, we have to win the offseason here, man. We dude, it's it's so important to win the offseason here. Uh advance week. Cowboys Super Bowl. Dude, a Bills Cowboys Super Bowl would be crazy. NFL MVP is Tom Brady. Coach of the Year is Mike McCarthy for the Cowboys. Offensive Player of the Year, AFC, is Jonathan Taylor. The NFC Offensive Player of the Year is Chris Godwin. Defensive Player of the Year, Aaron Donald. Uh, AFC Defensive Player of the Year is Von Miller. Dude, Von Miller is still an animal, dude. Okay, let's see it. Who's gonna win? Bills Cowboys Super Bowl this year. Oh, the Bills beat the Cowboys finally in the Super Bowl. Okay. Okay, we have 27 mil salary cap. Okay, um... Go for a quarterback. I actually, I actually don't know if I want to go for a quarterback. Did he throw a million in cap? No, no, it's 27 in cap, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Mike McGlinky. I think I think we need to negotiate with him. Three year deal. I think we need him. Free agency will be better. Go to hell, Mike McGlinky. Really? Uh Tyler Croft. Are various more. You know what, Mike McGlinky, you go to free. Maybe I'll find someone better.
And then we're going to start looking at the combine results here, too. Signed free agents. <laughs> AJ, LJ, TJ, RJ backslashes fourth to fifth. <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. OBJ. Uh... Mike Gesicki. Jam Jamal Dean. Deron Payne. Marcus Davenport. James Bradbury. Evan Ingram. Okay, let's look at uh, quarterbacks. Daniel Jones, Jimmy Garoppolo. Geno Smith has interest in coming here. We do actually need another receiver. But do we bring in Odell Beckham? I think it would also be smart to bring in another tight end. Mercedes Lewis. 39 years old, Mercedes Lewis. Still in the NFL. Dude, there's really not any good linemen out there. See, Mike McGlinky has interest in coming back. I, I think we gotta go for Mike McGlinky. Yeah, let's let's just push for him. Look, we'll make an offer. Because we, we still want him. Left end. Wait, what is eval? Contracts reviewed, players have evaluated, submitted offers. Oh, oh, that means he's in. Oh. So you can force him. Okay, so we got Mike McGlinky. Huge, 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 huge. So I did the eval period, and then these guys already, ex oh, damn. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. I lost out on some guys, potentially. But man, Odell Beckham. I feel like Odell Beckham is not gonna be some, Sterling Shepard. I mean, I think Evan Ingram would be a perfect fit as like a second tight end. I'll, I'll give him a, a team-friendly deal, Odell Beckham. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lowball him, actually. Odell Beckham went to the Eagles. Oh, Evan Ingram is coming, though. Okay, Evan Ingram.
Okay. What about Sterling Shepard? Do you guys think we're gonna play for Sterling Shepard? Nicole Hardman? Oh my gosh, Nicole Hardman is so fast. Okay, who has interest? Let's see, what about defensive tackles? Oh, honestly, dude, I should have made, I should have, I should have signed, I should have gone for Deron Payne. I wasn't really thinking. Yannick Ngakwe. Devin McCourty. Man, he's old, though. <sighs> yeah, um... Guess Trey Quinn every franchise? Wait, hold on. Is Trey Quinn a free agent? Where's Trey Quinn? <gasps> okay, guys, let's go over Trey Quinn again. We do get him actually every franchise. He's 75 overall, he's good. Yeah, but everybody loves Trey Quinn. Good. Yeah, we got Trey Quinn. Let's go. Okay. White Lightning. Okay, let's look at our combine results. Put me in coach. <laughs> Launch me. Okay, I got a real gym rep. Okay, so what do we really... We did. We need a lineman. <gasps> Trent Williams retired. Oh my gosh, chat. You have a McLovin thing for the 35 months. No. No. Dude. I legitimately need to draft like three linemen that can play right now. George Buckner from Michigan. Darnell Red from Florida. Malcolm Hunter from Texas. Hey I think your phone might be broken. I have tried calling. Anyways, when should I show up to practice? Don't show up to practice, Joe Flacco. Unbelievable. I need a I need a corner. I need a defensive tackle. Dude, this is rough. Top five. What is our What are our picks? Does it show? How do we How do we find out our picks? I'm gonna mock draft yet. I 
doesn't say. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Hold on, do we not have a first round pick? Oh no! Let's go to the Trade Center. Please, God, I hope we didn't blow this offseason. Dude, it's not it's looking so bad right now. No first, second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh. Dude, it is looking bad. Oh my gosh, there's so many 2024s. Dude, I feel like. I didn't brick the franchise, it's okay. <sighs> Who can we get? Dude, do we trade George Kittle? I think we trade George Kittle. I'm not gonna resign. Dude, Malik Willis is popping the hell off. What? Is there anybody that wants Trey Lance? Okay, get offers. Oh my gosh, dude. These are horrible. Nobody wants him. The Patriots are going to trip me Bailey Zapp. Dude, this is so bad, man. Honestly, we might have to trade him to the Panthers. Calvin Ridley? Zappy Hour. Dude, everybody loves Zappy. Do I send him to Washington? I could send Elijah Mitchell and Trey Lance to... A first and a fourth. Okay, hold on. For Washington's first round pick. else can I send him send them a linebacker Bud Dupree Is there anywhere where we'll, we'll get three greens? Hunter Henry, the Patriots.
Look, if I can get Bud Dupree and Trey Lance Greens, then we're good. Colts. Puts them over the salary cap. Send you a DM on Twitter if you want to get some more info on North Carolina State tailgates. Thanks, Would dude. Love to see you in Raleigh. Why Hardo? Yeah, I really have to figure this out. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and ask for too much first, always. Okay. Uh a third. Dude, should I just ask for a first? I would do this in a heartbeat if it was just a first, but... Dude, should I do it? First round pick for Bud Dupree, Elijah Mitchell, and Trey Lance. And look, the Trey Lance project is over. Yeah? Ask for a sixth. Maybe maybe I ask for something next year, like a fifth round next year. Oh, they're, they're, they're like not gonna punch, I think. Let's ask for a seventh. A seventh next year? Am I getting greedy? This offer isn't going to cut it. Okay, fine. Deal. Done deal. Okay, I got a first round pick. Trey Lance is gone, Elijah Mitchell is gone, and Bud Dupree is gone. Uh, we also got a, uh, a, a, a some depth on the guards on the offensive line. Maybe I should try and sign somebody with the intent of trading them in the offseason here. <laughs> yeah, true Calamaro. NFL films. I just think it's funny. I think it's meany. Sign more free agents. Yeah, Odell Beckham's with the Eagles. We're talking to Miko Hardman, where their top offer. Damn, wait, what's in New York? We were their top offer. of ice cream unbelievable see college pro day results okay so let's take a look at what our what our okay targets for sure i think we really got to look at these linemen michael knowles is a, is a scheme fit okay a awareness this is, this is b's b's a a jamie cash a to c 
Okay, realistically, Malcolm Hunter or Michael Knowles are both targets. A, impact block, A, pass block, A to C, run blocking, B, awareness. Darnell Red is a, is a huge target. And you have to free agent. George Buckner, B, awareness, A to C, impact block, B, pass block, A, run blocking. That's good. Jake Ramsey, A to C, awareness, A, impact block, B, pass block, B, run block. That's good. Um, A to C, Jawan Woodbury. A to C, awareness, A, impact block, B to D, pass block. See, if, if it's like a D. See, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add them to favorites. But we don't really know yet. Kai Johnson, we don't know yet. Thomas Graham, we don't know yet. Right tackle. Brett Matthews. C, C. I pretty much just want A's and B's. Across the board. That's basically what we're looking at. We want defensive tackle. Gerald Booth. C B B A C. Uh, Eric Baker is the target. Joel Huggins. A to C. A A to C. A to C. See this guy. This guy might be massive. 6'4", 333 from Auburn. This guy could be huge. Look at him. But we don't. Oh, where'd he go? We don't know yet. This guy's a real shot in the dark, and he's a second to third round projection. We need... We need a corner. D's, no. Damn! William Schaefer. Damn. Six foot four. Okay, dude. Savvy defender with a ball in the air, has a motor that runs the whistle off and looks to rip the ball. Shows good discipline, won't get flagged much. Damn! Ah! Dude, what? Look at him, dude. He has greats and elites everywhere, dude. Damn! Six foot four, 42 inch vertical. William Schaefer. Damn. This is a Hall of Famer, dude. We have to we have to get William Schaefer. We have to. Wait, minus 20? He just dropped 20 points in the in the projections though. I wonder. Three spots. I wonder. Probably off the field character issues. That's guy's a uh, generational talent? Yeah, 100 percent dude. Damn. Okay, um... Cousins with AB. Oh no. William Schaefer. Dick Schaefer. Dick Shaver? <laughs> Wait, his name is Dick Shaver. Uh, well, yeah, that's how it goes. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, wait. Dick is Richard. Oh, yeah. Not William. What? <laughs> I, got, I got my Williams and my Richards confused. Never mind. Well, dude, now I want to change his name. Now I want to change his name. Oh no, Willie! He's Willie! Willie Schaefer! Uh, fifth year option. Uh, Javon Kinlaw. Uh, yeah, we want to, we want to keep him. Let's do, uh, we want to pick up his fifth year option. Yes. Schaefer? I hardly know her. Okay, that's... 
Um, damn, we need some help though. Sign. Okay, this is the last. We need to sign some depth in free agency. Let's see if we can get a linebacker in here. Sean Dion Hamilton. Um. Give him a team-friendly deal. Dude, Metal Gear Saw is amazing, man. Oh, the gold's benching Matt Ryan. Well, they're not really benching him. He's injured. Like, I don't know why they, they turned the story into he's getting benched, but he's not getting benched. He's, he's injured. They said it wasn't due to injury. Uh, did he not have, like, a... like? A second degree, like, shoulder separation? Allinger's gonna start rest of the year regardless. Wow. Dude, I feel so bad for that one. That's crazy. Uh, scouting private workouts. Okay, we get three private workouts where we learn everything we can about a player, right? So, who do we look at? Do we want to look at? Do we want to look at Shaver? I mean, I feel like we have everything we need to know. It's all A's. So we actually don't need to bring him in. Who we need to bring in is... Um... I, think we, I think we need to look at one of these D tackles. I think Joel Huggins. This guy's a huge question mark because he's round two to three projection and there's a bunch of other guys, but we don't have a lot of draft picks high. So one of them's going to be on him. And then we gotta look at these guys. We gotta look at our other linemen. Um, George Buckner, same thing. Darnell Red, th three to four. Like, it's it's. We know the guys that are gonna get drafted high are gonna be home runs. We know that for a fact. I think what's important is we look at the linemen. I think it's important to look at the linemen. I think we look at a. I think we look at a George Buckner. And Michael Knowles. Because Michael Knowles, if his pass blocking is at least a C, then we know he's draftable. You think Jake Ramsey? But his awareness might be bad, and that might mean he doesn't actually have that much good potential. That's why that's why I'm leaning towards Buckner. Because Knowles has higher potential.
Hey, we should play the game or is this it? No, no, you, you can play the game. It's just this is what this is what we're doing right now. We're doing the off season. Okay, I'm gonna confirm. This is it. Joel Huggins, George Buckner, and Michael Knowles. Let's send it. Let's see what the results are. Oh wait, do we not have it until next week? Okay, boys, it's draft time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the NFL draft. It's time for the NFL draft. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. Okay, Joel hugging these nuts. <laughs> Okay, let's start with the trade center. Okay, now we gotta draft Joel Huggins. We got a lot of cap. We have the 23, the 44, the 70. Dude, we need more. We need more. We gotta find a way to pull another first rounder, dude. I'm willing, I am willing to, to pull from next year's draft. But I think we need to start with this. Let's package our deals up. Fifty six. Here, we, 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 okay, let's start here. One fifty three. Okay, we're gonna trade with the Broncos. We're gonna trade our six, seven, two, six, two, six, and a seven next year for a fifth this year to the Broncos. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try and condense our picks and pull them up. Okay. This might totally backfire. I hope it doesn't. A 2023 third 95. Okay. The Cowboys third. The Cowboys third round pick. The Ravens third round pick. I think that's what we gotta look at. The Ravens third round pick. But we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna work we're gonna work on that. So they they are offering us a third round pick. Would they give us a third and a fourth? Third and a sixth. Oh, okay. I got bonus. Bonus pick. Okay. One forty seven. One forty six, Giants fifth, Patriots fifth, Patriots fifth, Patriots fifth, no. Vikings fifth, no, no, Patriots fifth. Okay. Patriots.
do we have here? Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have here. We have one, two, three fifth round picks, a fourth round pick, two thirds, a second, and a first. Uh, okay, so so our draft is looking a little bit better. Uh, let's look at the draft board. Okay, let's start the draft and pause. We're going to look at our draft board and see what we got here. Start the NFL draft. It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Oh, here, we need to do commercial break time. Sorry. Pause draft. I loved it, Bluntham. I loved every second of it. Wait, can you guys not hear the music? Can't open. Okay. Michael Knowles, 90% completion. Motor that runs through the whistle. Ooh, D pass block. Should have looked at Malcolm Hunter. Mm. He's not as athletic, though. Mm. Ooh, George Buckner looks like the guy, dude. George, second to third, he looks like a dude. George Buckner is a dude. Second, third projection. Okay, so he's he's got to be a guy we look for. Uh, how did... Uh, Joel Hug... <gasps> dude! Dude! A's across the board! Lacks discipline, resulting in unavoidable penalties. That's not good. But he is a... F oh. Dude, he is a freak. You know, Lyman, we need a D-tackle, too. Antonio Brown, Inc.? True. William Schaefer. Okay. So William Schaefer has to be our main target, I think. I think I think we start with William Schaefer. 4'7 at 330 pounds. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at the board right now. The top talents are Steven Rudd, the quarterback from Arizona State, Gerald Booth, that's one of the guys we were looking at. Logan Samuels, defensive end from Tulane, Imani Byers. Free safety from Oregon. Uh, ben McBride, right tackle. Troy Peterson, Jawan Woodbury. So we're not picking until 20. But you know what, dude? I think I want to trade George Kittle. Am I am I crazy for wanting to trade George Kittle? He's always hurt. And we did sign Evan Ingram. And just look at this, dude. His last season, he had 681 yards. Um, in general, how many games did he play? He played in 14 games. Just always hurt. Now, knowing our luck, the second we trade him, we're, you know, he's not going to... Keenan Allen, Asante Samuel Jr., DeForest Buckner. He's like, I want picks. Darius Slay. Dude, these are like big offers. Whoa! The Giants want to trade a first-round pick, Miko Hardman, and a Dory Jackson.
Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed, and Kalen Barnes. Kittle's a 96, though. Yeah, but he's always hurt, and we get a first-round pick. DK Metcalf. Trent George Kittle, you're trying to kill the franchise? Dude, I think George Kittle is... I, I feel like we don't have an offensive line right now. It, it's about, like, opportunity cost. Having George Kittle makes it to where we are... We're going to give up George Kittle for more opportunity. Oh my gosh, imagine if I can get two first round picks from the Dolphins. Two twos and a one. Their top team need is a tight end. Yeah, exactly. George Kittle is a luxury that we, we can't afford. Oh, they don't have the cap. Come on, Miami. Figure it out. Do I do I just try and fix Miami's the cap for them because the, the cap room bug on, on it's not bug, it's just it's just like broken. Should I just try and fix Miami's cap for them? I I honestly should just try and fix Miami's cap. Fix the cap, no cap? Okay, okay. okay. Um, it's not cheating, okay? It's 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 bending the rules. Because they could still say no to the trade, right? Oh my gosh, their cap is completely ruined. How come is... How come his cap hit is still so high? That only drop him three mil? Contract of other teams. Look, the game is broken, dude. It doesn't handle contracts well at all. There we go. Same Hayes time. fanned, got laid off after nine years at the same company. Thanks wow, for being around to blows. help everyone be entertained when things get rough. Misfit, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. That sucks ass. That's really shitty they did that. Thank you for the 14 months, man. I, I hope you get back on your feet soon, man. For real. Okay, let's try this. Your mom is a luxury. Thanks, Nick Quinn. I appreciate that. That pretty guy. Think of it 18 months, that pretty guy. Dog is counting on you. I know, Rhythmist. I'm trying my best. Okay. George Kittle. The time is now. The moment of truth. This could be one of the biggest trades in NFL history. Wait, I didn't even fix their cap after all that? Hold on.
In real life, this happens all the time, by the way. They just they just pay the players less. <laughs> this happens. This literally happens on set. So don't worry. <laughs> No, this actually does happen. They, they restructure contracts all the time to like guarantee them money or like to, to take away guarantee. They, I mean, taking away guaranteed money is like, what the hell? But uh, really they, they, they like guarantee money and stuff to move cap space around. It's, it's actually a very like common thing. Players don't have to agree on it. Uh, yeah, but they, I mean, they, they like 99% of the time. Has there been a time where anybody wanted that, a team wanted to restructure a team's contract to guarantee them money where they said no? Why is this such dramatic music? Dude, it's the draft. Of course we gotta have dramatic music. It sets the tone. We're about to trade away team captain George Kittle, one of the best tight ends in the league. There's a lot of drama right now, and we're seeing if we can pull it off. Okay, a 1-1 one, one, and a 2. 9-12 and 41. Ready? We don't feel the offer brings enough value compared to, okay. How about a nine and 12? How about one, two, three, one, two, three. Eagles have one, have 16 and 26. Ooh, dude, that is close. We might be able to work with that. Dude, this would, this would basically snowball us like crazy. Who else can we trade? Ray Ray McLeod? We can give up another pick. We can give up another pick. I think I think we give away our two sevenths or a seventh. A seventh and a fifth. Hold on, I have a question. Should we trade Jason Verrett? Because we're gonna, we are going to Who's sign the Willie Schaefer. Who's the most popular guy at the nudist colony? The we're, we are gonna sign Willie Schaefer, 100%. And a dozen donuts. So maybe we get rid of Verrett. And he's old anyway.
Oh my, dude, the cap. All right, Eagles. Dude, is this Is this kind of dangerous? George Kittle, Dallas Goddard on the Eagles together. With dude, AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, Odell Beckham. Dude, Jalen Hurts has dude, he's it, it's a buffet, dude. He can have whatever he wants. Damn. That's scary. Wow, they're still not taking it. next year. Wait, where did all these picks come from? Didn't I, didn't I get rid of all these picks? They all come, wait, what? Where, how did I get all these picks? I thought I got rid of them all. Wait, what the hell? Did, did the game bug and give me a bunch of bonus picks? I'll give him a third next year. A third next year and a fourth this year. A second next year. And look, we can figure this out. Let's give him a second next year. Damn, done deal. Jason Verrett, second round pick next year, and George Kittle for the 16th overall, the 26th overall, and the 58th overall pick this year. Trainway Kittle, you're gonna lose the locker room. Hey, Kittle's not even in the locker room, okay? He's in the training room all day. So they're not gonna notice a difference. He's always hurt. So these are our targets. Actually, let's see. Let's let's go through one more time, then we're gonna start simulating or start picking. There's a lot of good players here. There's a lot of good players in this draft that we're looking at, but they're not loading. There they are. Okay. Steven Rudd is the big quarterback. Who we're looking at is, uh, let's see. Juwan Woodbury, I'm kind of out on him. Malcolm Hunter is a maybe. We're looking at a... Wait, where's Willie Shaver? William Shaver. This is... I'm telling you, I guarantee it. Willie Shaver is 100% like a Hall of Famer. And I think that this guy, Joel Huggins, is also going to be that way. And he's around 2-3 to three projection. So... Things are getting kind of wild. We're gonna get Willie Shaver. Okay, the first overall pick, the Lions select.
pause. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Madden. <laughs> hey, yo, Madden, wake up. Uh, yeah. Let's just go and back out real quick. I've never seen that do that before. Wait, hold on. Did it not save any of those changes? It's supposed to auto save. Okay, it did, it did, it did. Okay, we're good, we're saved. Dude, we have three first round picks. Is there loot goblins this week? Yes, there's loot goblins on Thursday and tailgate on Saturday. Okay. Advance the next pick. Tyler Gonzalez, left end from Buffalo, goes to the Lions. The Seahawks get Steven Rudd, the quarterback from Arizona State. We gotta hope our guys don't get picked. Patriots get Logan Samuels, right end from Tulane. was one of the D tackles we were looking at chat that was one of them but I think I think Huggins I think Huggins is the guy Joel Huggins is good the Cardinals Brett Matthews right tackle from Texas Imani Byers free safety he was, he was good free safety from Oregon goes to the Steelers the Jets Malcolm Hunter Malcolm Hunter was one of the linemen we were looking at okay that's minus one Mike Burgess, wide receiver from Michigan State. The Dolphins take Kareem Townsend, wide receiver from Florida. The Washingtons take Deontay Chamberlain, wide receiver from San Diego State. The Titans take Jawan Woodbury. Oh, two of the linemen we had marked. Okay. The, uh, the Dolphins take Nate Yankee, cornerback from Penn State. Okay, the cornerbacks are starting to come off the board. Oh, we have to survive, dude. We have to survive the 16. There's one, two, three picks before us. The cornerbacks are starting to come off. The Texans take Ben McBride, right tackle from Wisconsin. The Chiefs take Otis Hooks, right tackle from Clemson. And the Falcons, please don't take Willie. Please don't take him. Troy Peterson, strong safety from Auburn. Willie Shaver is on the board, boys. Okay, let's go. Pig the player. Rough month, brother. But thanks for all you and the Oak does. It really helps less. Thank than you, Barry Lab. I hope I hope things get better, man. I, I really I, I really hope you're doing okay, Fairlight. Thank you for the 22 months, man. Super Knuckle had 43 months and I didn't hear it earlier. Sorry, Super Knuckle. Okay, chat. Looks like we got Willie. William Schaefer. Six foot four, 204 pound cornerback from Rutgers. <clears throat> well, chat, let me tell you something about Willie Schaefer. William Schaefer, six foot four, 
cornerback, left-handed, 21 years old, from Rutgers University. Guys, William Schaefer is a guy who is, by all measurables, probably one of the greatest talents we've seen in the NFL draft in recent years. He runs a 4-340. Hits 24 reps of 225 on the bench press. That's a cornerback with you know, running back tight end numbers at 24 reps. 42 inch vertical leap. 10 foot six broad jump. Six seven on the three cone and a three nine short shuttle. This guy's an unbelievable athlete. But why is he fallen so far in the draft? Why is he projected to be the third cornerback? Well, William Schaefer. Actually had a long journey before he ended up at Rutgers. William Schaefer is a guy who, coming out of high school, had every offer in the country. He had offers from Auburn, from Clemson, from Alabama, from Ole Miss, from Louisiana State University. He was looking to be all world. All-American wasn't enough. This was his sophomore year. What happens is junior year. Well, his junior year, homecoming. touchdown, defensive touchdown. He played a quarterback, wide receiver, both sides of the ball. Incredible athlete. Had an interception return for a touchdown to seal the game. But after the game, he ends up getting caught. William Schaefer's parents were out of town. And a lot of people don't know this. William Schaefer actually was, uh, his, his adopted parents were out of town. And his parents gave him everything, everything he could ever want. But he was very spoiled. He had the best training, the best everything. And when his parents were out of town, he had a beer party. William Schaefer hosted a beer party. Police show up and they'll say, you know, William Schaefer, they call his parents. All of a sudden, the offers start getting pulled. This kid's a problem. He's a problem child. You know, th this, is, this isn't a guy, he's going to be a cancer to our locker room. It doesn't matter how good of an athlete he is. It doesn't matter how big he is, strong he is, fast he is. This isn't the kind of guy that is going to contribute to our program in a positive light. William Schaefer had one school that gave him another chance. That was Rutgers. Two weeks later, William Schaefer was arrested for selling crystal meth, and his offer from Rutgers was also pulled. That was whenever William Schaefer decided he was going to have to go to the he was gonna. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Come on, get it together, Frick. William Schaefer ended up going to junior college. Okay. He had to go to junior college. He played junior college, won a junior college national championship. Rutgers came back and said, "You know what, son? You look like you have your life." back on track. We're going to give you another chance, give you another offer. William Schaefer ended up going to Rutgers University. And the one school that still had his back through all of this, he was going to go play for them. Now, William Schaefer has made it. He's a first round pick. But there are still some concerns about his character issues. 
the San Francisco 49ers are giving him his second chance again. His, le his last second chance. So we are going to draft William Schaefer, and he is... Holy! He is a normal development, though! What? His stats are so high, but his development is normal. It's okay, he can still get better. He can still get better. He can still, he can still, his development trait can still go up. But he's 100% over an 80 overall. 100%. Okay, very good. So right now on our board. Or sorry. Right now on our draft board. We're looking at linemen. We're looking at Michael Knowles. We're looking at Darnell Red. We're looking at George Buckner. And we're looking at Joel Huggins. So we need second round picks, third round, Michael Knowles. Chat, tell people that are getting ads we're waiting for the ads. Fatty's thinking for the tier one 14 months. Roy Hello, Bunsen thinking for the four fat. months. Oh. I'm in the crowd. Chad, are you in the crowd? Okay. Ad should be done. Skip ahead. Okay, the Panthers are going to select BJ Brown, quarterback from North Texas, a first round quarterback from North Texas. The New York Giants take Tyree McDaniels, left end from Washington State. The Bengals, Dan Miller, middle linebacker, Texas A&M. He was the top linebacker in the draft. Rayshon Godwin, middle linebacker from Ole Miss. Okay, so two linebackers back to back. The Chicago Bears take Sidney Norton, another linebacker. Oh my dude, the linebackers are falling off the board. Sidney Norton, right outside linebacker from USC. The Vikings. Take, un dude, every, all the linebackers are falling off, dude. Brandon Connell, linebacker from Clemson. And it is now our pick. Let's take a look at the draft board. Because here's a legitimate conversation to have. <sighs> the hell? This is music timing. <laughs> okay. The guys that we have targeted, we have some time. Is it worth it to trade down? Like they're 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 not going for a like Michael Knowles, 26 slots until he goes. Maybe. George Buckner, same thing. I think we should we should trade down and get two picks so we we might be able to get all of them.
Because look, we have 23 and 26. Oh, wait a second, hold on. Wait, do I have too many picks? Hmm. No, because there's four guys I want to draft. There's four guys I want to draft. I want to draft three offensive linemen and a defensive tackle. And so I need these four picks. But I might be able to trade down. The Bills, can I think, can I get a first and a first? Do you think they'll trade down? A first next year? I would do this a first and a seventh versus first and a second. Okay, done deal. So I picked up a pick, I picked up a pick for next year. Yeah, second next year. I know that's fine, that's fine. No, I'm just getting value, I'm getting value. Okay. Jamal Gregory, tight end from Colorado. Brian Townsend, right tackle from USC. Okay, now, see, now the linemen are starting to get taken. The Seahawks take. You've been disconnected from the league due to inactivity. I'm right here. Hi, coach. Is it true you and OTK traded Bonnie and a third to OTV for the rights to sign Charming <laughs> Joe? What the hell's happening here? Hello? <laughs> We didn't lose everything. No, that did not happen. Spider two wine banana. Thank you for the five six nine bits. Thank you, dude. Wait, what? Hold on. What? Your next pick is twenty. Wait, hold on, so did I lose my, did I just lose my, did I just lose my draft pick? So do I just straight up lose my draft pick? Dear coach, is this really our year? Then why are you trading for draft picks next year? Have you already given Wait, up I saw this year? Kittle? I'm just going to sit this year out then. Sincerely, Christian McCaffrey. What? What is going on? But here's the thing, we reached, the, the Kittle trade was already before, what? So what are my draft picks now? Bro, what?
Bachman Bald from OTK News will Willy Shaver shave everyone's balls. Dude, but I already had a crash happen. It already, it already, remember one of our crashed and I reset it? Remember? And then I didn't have George Kittle one of our reset it. So how, how did that even happen? Bro, this is so confusing. What else did I give him? What else, what else did I give the Eagles? You guys remember? Horrible bug. Okay. Hopefully this works. That's super frustrating. Hopefully this works. All right. I hope it still picks the same people. Okay, William Schaefer. Guys, let me tell you something about William Schaefer. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Okay, next thing we're looking at, chat. Okay, Michael Knowles, George Buckner, Darnell Reed, Red, and Joel Huggins. Those are our targets. Two, three, two, three, three, four, one, two. So I think we're gonna go ahead and just go for Michael Knowles, chat. Chat, let me tell you something about Michael Knowles. Six foot six. 309 pounds, 22 years of age from South Carolina. Okay. Michael Knowles is a physical specimen. An elite athlete at the tackle position, at the offensive tackle position. Runs a 4940, 36 reps of 225, 30 inch vertical jump. He's big, he's incredibly strong, but there are some concerns about his ability to pass block because the offense that they ran at South Carolina was a very 
run heavy offense. And because of this, he started to slip in the draft. Otherwise, a lot of people thought he was actually one of the most athletic and potentially the best offensive lineman in the entire draft. So, we're going to take a shot on him. We're going to take a shot. We're going to take a chance and see if Michael Knowles is the guy who's going to replace who's going to replace Trent Williams, the offensive tackle, legendary Hall of Fame offensive tackle who just retired from the San Francisco 49ers. Michael Knowles. Whoa. Why does he look like that? <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like the straight jacket. Michael Knowles hidden potential. <laughs> hidden potential. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michael Knowles, very good. Tevin Bishop, okay, see, now's when it's getting scary, dude. Emmett Frost. Thomas Graham. Jonathan Walters, and the Cowboys select Kevin Clement, running back from UCF. And now we have our next pick, our third first round pick in this draft. It's time to make this election. Okay, so here's what we're looking at now, dude. This might this draft might be insane. Darnell Red is a three to four projection. George Buckner is a two to three projection. Joel Huggins is on the board, two to three projection. I think when you look at the board, it is projected that Buckner is gonna go before Huggins. But I personally think that Buckner is so good, I do not wanna risk losing him. But, Is he gonna survive 10 picks? I don't know if George Bugner is actually gonna survive 10 picks because if there's one team, only one team that decides, you know what, we need a center, he is the top center on the board. Whereas with Buckner, or excuse me, whereas with Huggins, he is the fourth tackle, fourth defensive tackle on the board. So if we wanna, you know what I mean? It only takes one team to say, you know what, we need a center. Whereas there's a lot of options here and they're all one, two projection, two, three, two, three, two, three. Like there's a lot on the board here where they could choose from. So damn, I think I'm changing my mind. I think I'm gonna go George Buckner. And we, we literally don't have a center. Guys, George Buckner. Six foot five, 313 pounds, left-handed player from Michigan. Let me tell you about George Buckner, guys. George Buckner is a guy. He was a four-year starter at Michigan. All-American, academic All-American. George Buckner was a leader on the field, off the field, and within the field as well. So, George Buckner, he actually graduated, he double majored in four years. He started since his freshman year. And he double majored in electrical engineering and art. He's incredibly intelligent, okay? George Buckner is a guy who, you know what? He isn't necessarily the best athlete. He's a guy who's always kind of been right, just a cut below everybody else. Just barely, just barely a cut below. As you can see in his numbers, he's third speed, second, third across the board. Really, his bench press was really good. But 
The reason why we're going to take George Buckner a little bit early is because we need a guy to step in and who's going to be a leader on our offensive line for 10 years. And we think George Buckner has the intangibles to do so. And that is why we've decided with the 32nd overall pick in the first round to take George Buckner. Hidden potential again on the O-line. Damn. Damn. Okay. 89 strength. Pretty good. Pretty good. Damn. Okay. Normal head. Get rid of him. Okay. Now we have to pray, dude. We have to pray that Huggins will survive until the 12th pick. And Enrique Ross to the Lions, middle linebacker. The Seahawks take Steven Acosta, free safety from Georgia. The Patriots take Kevin Irving, free safety from UCLA. The Jaguars take Coach. What's his penis size? We don't we don't draft based on penis size. Lamar Carradine. Wide receiver from USC goes to the Jaguars. The Cardinals take. Jeremiah Wilkerson, defensive tackle. Okay, the first defensive tackle is off. There's two more left. Your scouts aren't doing your, their jobs. I'm not checking this out. You may not draft based on it, but for sure you have to measure it. No, don't measure their penises. Philadelphia, or sorry, Pittsburgh. Selects Eddie Bass, middle linebacker from Texas. The Jets take. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Dude, okay, please don't take a defensive tackle. The Jets take Jalen Rainey, middle linebacker from Ohio State. A lot of defense is coming off the board, dude. A lot of defense. The Raiders. George Burley, right tackle from Florida. The Dolphins. Jeremiah Covington, tight end from Washington. There's two picks left. Please do not take D-tackle. The Colts. Take Aries Jackson, left end from Miami. The Tennessee Titans, please, please don't take him. Oh my gosh, oh, I got so scared. I saw DT, I got so scared, dude. Eric Baker, defensive tackle from Auburn, which means that we get our guy at 12. Once it stops loading, Joel Huggins survives to the 12th pick of the second round. Guys, let me tell you something about Joel Huggins, okay? Let me tell you something about Joel Huggins. Six foot four, 333 pounds. Physical, physical player who delivers bone crushing hits. Loves to utilize spin as a counter move. Has a swift arm over in his arsenal. Will utilize power and leverage to bowl through pass protectors and has a motor that runs through the whistle. He often looks to rip the ball from runners and lack, but he does lack discipline, resulting in avoidable penalties. Chat, let me tell you something about Joel Huggins. Joel Huggins. didn't start playing football until his senior year of high school. Joel Huggins went through high school and he was bigger than everyone. His whole life, he was the big kid. He was bigger than everyone. He was big and strong. And people just thought, you know, people made fun of him. They picked on him. And he, you know, he just kind of went through life and, you know, he liked playing video games. He liked... He, he didn't he didn't really play sports and then one day Joel Huggins was just a big teddy bear and people kept picking on him one day the football coach at his high school went and saw some kids picking on Joel 
Some girls were picking on Joel Huggins. Bleed penis size. They're making fun of him. And you know what that coach does? When he sees these girls making fun of Joel. Also heard he has a fat cock. He's playing his Game Boy. He's playing his Game Boy at lunch sitting at a table by himself. And coach goes up to those girls and says, hey, you guys are just making fun of him because he has bigger tits than you. And those girls all started crying. And then that coach got fired. But then, what Joel did... <laughs> that, really re <laughs> that really resonated with Joel, that statement. And Joel said, you know what, coach? I want to go play football because he's the only guy who stood up for me. And I wanted to play football, or he wanted to play football. <laughs> this is not my story. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he said, quote, I want to go play football because that's the only guy who ever stood up for me. Okay. So then he went his senior year and he started playing football. And he worked so hard and he lifted weights, and soon he ended up being the starting defensive tackle and offensive tackle. Both ways, two-way starter. Colleges started looking at him. All these big schools, Alabama, LSU, Ole Miss, everybody started looking at him. And then Auburn came along in his own backyard, hometown kid. Auburn comes in with an offer. Halfway through his senior year, I said, Joel Huggins, we want to offer you to come play football at the University of Auburn. Joel looks up and sees the coach. And you know who that coach was? That coach was the same guy who got fired from his high school job and immediately got hired at a university job somehow. And he said, Coach, it's you. <laughs> I said, yes, it's me. So Joel Huggins gave him a hug. He said, Coach, I'm going to come play for you. And I'm going to be the best defensive tackle you've ever seen. Joel ends up going to the University of Auburn. In his very first year, his very first year, he's very, very raw. Big, strong, doesn't really know how to play. And it takes him time to develop. Gets redshirted. His second year, what happens? He goes out there, he's in practice, and he starts to show some development. He's really starting to get some promise, he gets some reps in. His second year, or really his third year, redshirt sophomore, he has a chance to compete for the starting spot, and the guy in front of him Ends up getting kicked off the team because he was smoking crack cocaine in the locker room. That's right. Joel Huggins ends up starting his redshirt sophomore year. And he takes that spot and he is on fire. He's making plays all over the field. He's getting sacks. He's getting interceptions. He's doing everything right. He goes into his senior year the next year, or his redshirt junior year, academic senior year. When the unthinkable happens. He gets a phone call. Not like this, 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 not like this. Joel gets a phone call and finds out. Dad? What? I'm your son. Is this Joel Huggins? He says, yes, I'm 22 years old. What do you mean? He says, I'm... <laughs> it's, it's me, I'm your son. 
He's like, how can you talk so well? He says, I'm in the fifth grade. <laughs> I'm in the fifth grade. What? Yes. He had a wet dream one time. And when he took his clothes to the laundromat, it fused when the waste went down into the drain. And he had actually given birth. an asexual organism, a turtle, in the sewers. It is now a human's turtle baby. Joel Huggins had to take a year off and care for his new turtle baby child. That turtle baby's name was Leonardo. Is this Joel Huggins, Dad? Is that you? Owe me a lot of child support, Dad. Yes, this is a true story. Now, what's happening? There was a lot of drama. A lot of. There was a rat man who tried to care for his son, and he claimed that he was his father now. And there's a lot of drama. Joel Huggins actually missed his senior year of football dealing with all this family drama. And because of that, He's fallen in the draft. Now, halfway through the second round, when everybody thought he was going to be the best defensive tackle coming out of the draft this year. So we are now going to give him a chance. We're going to give him an opportunity. And said, so, you know what? We know you haven't played football for a year. We know you've only played football in your whole life for a total of three years. But we're gonna give you a chance. And we're gonna draft you in the San Francisco 49ers. Holy! 81 speed, 92 strength, hidden potential. Freak of nature, dude. 87 excel, that's closing speed, dude. Damn. Let's go. Wait, so we ended up getting all of our targets. We actually got all of our targets. Damn. Let's go, dude. This draft could be insane. Okay, so we need to get a... Uh... Now what, 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 now what. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. We should probably take a... We should probably take a quarterback. Shamir Beekman. Yeah, we need a we need a backup quarterback. We need another running back too. No tight end replace Kittle. Uh, we got Evan Ingram already. I would like to get a backup running back, like a big guy. Paul Lawrence. Trey Bates. find a bigger back but maybe not I mean the, the physical isn't really there no I, I don't I don't think we I don't, I don't think we have a guy there wide receiver
Mark Cannon. Wait, what? 46240? Day 3? Um, hold on. Who's this Mark Cannon guy? Joe Cohn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. This is Nick Cannon's first son. Very good. This is Nick Cannon's. This is one of Nick Cannon's sons. One of Nick Cannon's 20 sons. Joe Cohn is such a good name, too, though. What about linebacker? Paul Bruce. Dude, this draft took so long because of the crash. Damn, this draft took so long because of the crash, man. I... Frick. Oh, I wanted to at least play a game before I go. I don't think I'll have time. Snow Cone. Save? You can't really save. I'm just going to draft more cannon. We're just going to send it, chat. 83 speed, just send it. Dude, look at this guy's neck. Nate McManus. Ben Morse. Wait, let's just let's just draft a Ben Morse. Wait, what? Hidden potential? Ben Morse? It's just some random guy I drafted. What? 88 speed. Hold on, what? Hold up. Ben Morris, let's go. Bless draft, dude. For real, I think uh, I think at this point we should just sim to the end of the draft, though, right? I want to sim to the end of the draft so it saves. I'm like scared of it not saving, and then we can look at all the things. He's five eleven, Ben Morris. Okay, I'm back. Could I got all those guys that trading kettle? No, it, it, it was impossible. Okay, let's see this. Draft recap. Wave a star, thank you for the 10 months. Does this mean the scouting staff can go get ice cream to celebrate this great draft? No, only if we win the Super Bowl, okay? Michael Rapopla, thank you for the 30 months. Okay, let's see it. William Schaefer, 83 overall. Michael Knowles, 74. George Buckner, 75. Joel Huggins, 82. Bronze dev trade, though. Yeah, true. But still, like, it's going to be fine. Shamir Beekman, 67. That's not terrible for a rookie quarterback. Uh, Mark Cannon, 68. Ben Morris has hidden potential, but he's only 66. Interesting. Aaron Jordan, Taylor Clemens. Okay, so the top of our draft is sick. Oh, wait, we forgot the guard. We wanted the guard. Daryl Red or whatever. I forgot the guard. Where did the guard go?
Check free agents? No, he was a third fourth. He was gonna get he was gonna get drafted 100 percent Damn. I wonder what he was. It's okay. It's not it's not it's not the other one. Um Okay, just roster. Chat, I'm probably gonna be live tonight doing arenas on S Fan Radio. If you guys want, uh, if you guys want to watch my like whenever I'm streaming WoW late night, I usually stream on another channel, S Fan Radio. It's at the top of chat. If you guys want to follow S Fan Radio, it's my old. So I go, I go live there sometimes. Yeah, it's the Zachroar from before Zachroar. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got here. Which I think it's kind of huge, yeah. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, Jackson. The thing is, Jackson, you have to do it anyway. It's kind of like one of your parents got you from the hospital. They said, yeah, no thanks, but they were just kind of stuck with you anyway. Happy to be here to support the best paladin. Damn, dude, I'm like... <laughs> Dan's the worst, thank you for the five months with Prime. Thanks, dude. Dude, I'm actually, this is kind of rough. Ran Diddy, thank you for the 10 months. I missed that earlier. Thank you, Ran Diddy. Okay, I mean, we're just going to hope for the best here. We have seven offensive linemen. Drake Jackson, Nick Bosa... Joel Huggins. See, we just took the fifth year option on Javon Kinlaw, too. Dude, honestly, we could probably play Joel Huggins at defensive end, but he's so big. Okay, we're gonna figure this out here. Dre Greenlaw. I feel I feel like I need to find a way for Ben Morse to play. Cause Ben Morse, if he's hidden potential. I actually feel like we should literally force him to play. Like we should we should force him to start. I know the other guys are a little bit higher overall, but like He's young. I mean, I I think this would be a smart play. Force him to play. Uh, no, don't worry, Komodo. I appreciate it, but I'm not a Niners fan. Don't worry. I just, uh, I, I just role play for every every uh, team I play. Damn, dude. Damn. William Schaefer is gonna be disgusting, man. He is gonna be so disgustingly good.
<laughs> the Cowboys fan, it's even worse. Yeah, someone says in every franchise, they think I'm a fan of whatever team I'm doing a franchise of. I mean, it's just reasonable, right? It's just kind of funny to think about. That I'm like, I, I'm not... Uh, like, I'm doing what doesn't really make much sense, right? Okay. I think we got our... I think we got our roster situated. The thing is, I think... Ray, I'm gonna trade Ray Ray McLeod. Because I don't even think that's a real name. I think it's made up. Um... Does anybody want him? Oh, hello. Saints. Parker Smallwood. Eagles gear? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Small penis. Don't draft him. He has a small penis. Advanced to preseason. What's up, Mozik? Dude, that was an amazing offseason. Like, actually, an amazing offseason. Let's look at our free agents. Let's see who's a free agent. Because we need, yeah, we need a kicker and a punter. And we need another running back. Do I get Melvin Gordon or Jamal Williams? I want a bigger back, so maybe uh, Jamal Williams. Benny Snell. Jamal Williams, the kicker, Graham Gano. Tyler Bass. Or Jake Elliott. Um Matt Gay. Ba 
Um, Blake Gilligan. Okay. Wow, I actually have exactly a 53 man roster right now. Damn. Would you ever do a Patriots franchise? My plan was actually to do a Patriots franchise soon. I want to play the young guys, dig. Damn, I wish I had time to play, dude. I wish I had time to play. I have to go to my OTK meeting. Yeah, that's exactly why I can't. Drake Jackson. Set season gold. Guys, I think that this is a 100% a playoff team. I think 100% is a playoff team. But unfortunately, chat, I don't think we have time to, yeah, we don't have time to play a game. There's actually no chance. But uh, I think we'll continue Madden tomorrow. We, we will play more tomorrow. I do also want to play Madison this week. So if we play tomorrow. Oh wait, actually Madison, if we want to play Madison, how long is Madison? Playoff team if everyone loses. What are you doing after the meeting? Uh, I might do arenas tonight. Madison playthrough. How long to beat Madison? So yeah, is Madison a one shot? Yeah, so this will be like a six hour, six to eight hour. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this means we'll, I'll probably play this on Wednesday. Unless I, there's a sponsored stream that I have to do this week. If it's on that day, then it probably, I'll probably do it. Let's see. YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter, everything is SFAN TV. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hearts in the chat, SFAN L. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow or tonight on S Fan Radio. You guys can click the follow button at the. Uh, if you guys are new here and you haven't followed the stream, make sure to follow the stream. If you guys haven't followed S Fan Radio, follow S Fan Radio. Uh, I also stream there sometimes. 
Uh, today was super fun. I know it was kind of short, but, but good old football day, Cape Kona football day. And then, uh, yeah, good stuff. Raid Seer. Hi, right, chat. That's Vandal. We'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. What's that thing you were going to tell us? Uh, I don't think I was going to say anything. That's Vandal so far when nice man that the hoodie is trying to shrink it so often. Yeah, it literally it shrunk in the wash. But uh, YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter, everything is S-Fan TV. Thursday. Luke Goblin's Thursday tailgate tour on Friday. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be great. Um, and then, oh, I remember then the stream ends. What do you mean? Oh, you mean that thing whenever I go and I, I, I'm acting like I'm going to say something and then actually what I do is I turn off the stream? No, I'm just kidding. I didn't turn it off. All right, well.